know what's really awesome is there's great things at the fair that you just cannot miss. And they told us Judy's south of the border, ribeye sandwich were right there. And guess what else they got? Blue. Slushies, baby. Yum. My favorite right there. Refreshing is 101. This is what it's all about. I'll tell you what, they got these fresh haystackers going down. Did you see those onion rings they're throwing, Micah? Yeah, that fresh powder going down on them things. Oh, they're going to be so good, Tex. Wait for that hand cut ribeye to come off, baby. Oh, that is absolutely it. You know what? These poor people are just sweating in there. I mean, at least we're out here and enjoying a little bit of slushy, but I cannot wait to throw down that ribeye. Yeah, I bet they drink those slushies by the pounds when they're working in their tips. No doubt, but hey, this is the fun thing about your local county fairs. Get out there and find one of these great restaurant trailers and enjoy it and not see what all the good state fair, state fair, well, that's coming up. I'm in Minnesota. That's right around the corner. Absolutely. State fairs, hit them up too. But right here at our county fairs, jump on one of these wagons and see what it's all about because they say they're the best out there. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you also. Track Shot Live. We are live, Juneau County Fair, Mauston, Wisconsin. Not only will you see turkeys tonight on the camera, you'll see turkeys down here in the barns. Who are we with today? Zoe. Hi, Zoe, and what's your turkey's name? Godzilla. Godzilla. The turkey's name is Godzilla. Godzilla, anything you'd like to say? I don't like that Wallace guy. Oh, Godzilla doesn't like that Wallace guy, apparently. Well, you've seen it here, folks. Turkeys, Juneau County Fair. Thanks, Zoe. Yeah. Track shot live down here, Juneau County Fair. And we are standing with Leo, the promoter of this demolition derby. Leo, what kind of a car count are we looking at tonight? I would say we're gonna have roughly 15 trucks, uh, close to 10 to 15 full size. It looks like uh, the car count's picking up here in the little cars. Should be numbers anywhere from 10 to 15 and minivans is kind of iffy, so. All right, Leo, what's the name of your demolition derby promotion? Old School Demo Derby Promotions. Old School Demo Derby Promotion, folks. And Leo, what is it about Juneau County Fair that makes you come back every year to promote this derby? It's my hometown, and uh, I feel like I want to give a fair shake and be an honest promoter, and uh, that's what that's bring me, brings me back. The drive, the fans, uh, the drivers respect me, so that's what I like about it. I'm here to tell you, folks, what they're doing here in Mauston, Wisconsin is unbelievable. The car count's up, the people here are friendly, the food is good, the atmosphere is incredible. You're not going to find a better demolition derby in the Midwest. Make sure next year you're here with us on Track Shot Live. Track Shot Live, we're back here with? Ariana Picorni. Ariana. And Ariana, what are you doing this weekend at the fair? Showing my sheep, Cloud. Your sheep's name is Cloud? Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because mm -hmm. she's white. Because she's white? Is she soft like a cloud? Yes. And have you shown your sheep yet this weekend? Yes, I did today and I got two blow blues, one in showmanship and one in breeding stock. Oh, that's fantastic. High five. All right, are you watching the demolition derby tonight and tomorrow night? I don't know. That's a big yes. Yes, you are watching, right, Dad? We're watching the demolition derby the next two nights, okay? All right, we'll see you there. <laughs> We are live down here with Mike. Mike, what is the name of your business? We are Amp Live Events. We're the Monster Truck Nitro Tour, but we are here as the Wild Safari Monster Truck Rides for the fair this year. And holy smokes, what's it cost to ride this beast? $10 will get you on board, cash or credit card accepted right here. And yeah, we give you about a three to five minute realistic monster truck ride, four wheel steer. We do some donuts. We climb a big dirt hill over here so you can overlook the whole fairgrounds. And then we ride around out in the cornfields and out by the lake and have a little bit of fun, bounce you around and give you the, the sea feel in here or what it is to ride in a 10,000 pound fire breathing monster truck. This is absolutely incredible folks. And you're about to go on a ride with us. All right, folks, here we go. Listen to this beast fire up. Holy smokes. Hey, just take that car out. Why not? We can go right over the top of that thing. Woo, we're gonna chase them. 
What's the fastest this thing goes? Well, this ride truck here will probably do 35, 35, 40 miles an hour. Holy crap, have you ever demolition derbied one of these things? No, I, no, I haven't, but uh, I've driven race trucks for the last 20 years. Well, I think demolition derby's in your future, sir. I might be the winner. <laughs> I might be the winner. Oh, no, we're going to have more than one of these on the track. I tell you what, we're going to make this worth it. Here you're getting a live look at the back side of the Juneau County Fair. Cornfields, cow manure, that's what we're all about here. We got cattle shows, we got sheep shows, chicken shows, poultry shows, turkeys, pigs, rabbits, you name it, we got it. Later on tonight, there's gonna be a great band playing there. Here we go, we're gonna open this sucker up a little bit. What's the deepest water you can go into? Uh, we could float right across that. All right, let's send it. <laughs> boys and girls come on bill don't fall out now <laughs> the bumpiest video in tracks not live history but it's worth it i tell you what hey let's make a trip through the pits while we're at it turn radius on this thing's incredible Woo! yeah baby you always got to put your hands in the air on a good ride. I think we need to go through the pits. All right, let's go through the pits. No fear in this guy. Figure eights, donuts, he's got it all. If you really want to know how big you are, you just ride one of these things and you jiggle the whole time. Covert, no problem. <laughs> We're gonna cruise through the pits, get some footage of the vehicles out of here for tonight's show. We gotta get people up on their feet, hopefully, for Track Shot Live. Bill, look at them all out here. Woo! Track Shot Live, baby! Yeah! Oh, now we're jammed up. Oh, boy. Hey, say hi to... Everybody's on track shot live. Woo! All right, we're going to launch this thing over the blocks and land in the middle of the track and then do a donut. track where you're gonna see demolition derby tonight folks Woo! yeah baby here we go up and over the box or not <laughs> we tried <laughs> we'd have to hit that a little bit faster eh yeah <laughs> I thought maybe I could climb up. I thought so too. I was hoping. Track shot live right there. You don't get fun like this at every fair, folks, or every demolition derby. Come on now. If you're not in Boston, Wisconsin this weekend, you're missing out. You should absolutely be here. This isn't the only excitement. They've got axe throwing, they've got food, they got beer tents, they've got Rodeo, of course, live entertainment. live entertainment, they got bands, and most importantly, they have Demolition Derby. They got ice cold beer. That, they've got that too. Got jump houses. 
All kinds of stuff for the kids. We're not done yet. We're gonna help this farmer pick some corn. Bill. Hold on, Bill. We're going for a launch, Bill. Here we go. Woo! Yes. I love it. Hey, what are your socials? My socials? Well, you can catch us at monstertrucktour.com. That is our company. We've been in business for over 40 years. We do about 100 monster truck shows a year. As you can tell, I ain't afraid to talk. I'm one of our MCs. I'm a motorsports announcer. I've been doing it for 40 years. And the reason I'm back out here, I'm a 10-year pancreatic cancer survivor. I'm cancer-free, and I'm back doing what I love to do, entertaining people, bringing them out, taking them for monster truck rides at fairs. We usually come to these fairs and they see how popular the monster truck ride is. And then right away, they want to have a monster truck show in their grandstands. And I'm also a salesman for our company. So I go to all the fair conventions. Last year, I did 10 of them. So we do monster truck shows all over the United States, Canada, Russia, China, South America. We're going to Maui, Hawaii. Even though they had the wildfires and stuff, we had a show scheduled for October. We're still gonna go there and do it and at least give the people something, you know, some entertainment. Hey, and new to you at folks at home, I was just hired by these guys to go to Hawaii. Oh, were you? Cool. <laughs> well, I've been all over the world and I love doing what I'm doing. Glad to be at the Juneau County Fair. We thought we were gonna bring a show here this year on Sunday when they have their ATV event, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm having a blast. This weekend we got shows in Springfield, Nebraska. We also have a show in Baker, Montana. We're here doing monster truck rides. Just check us out, monstertrucktour.com, our website, and then you can go to all of our Facebook socials. We got Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, follow our company and check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fans of Tracks on Live, don't forget to check these guys out. Like, follow, and subscribe to all their channels. Once again, Thanks for the amazing ride. We're gonna send it home, baby. Oh, we're not done, he says. All right, we get a great ride at the fair, he says. We've got a football field here. We're gonna just let her rip. Let her rip. We're gonna do a little crab steering. Oh, we're crab steering. So what Bill. we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the rear wheels, and now I'm gonna turn the front wheels. We're gonna go sideways. We're gonna go sideways across this. Now I'm gonna turn the other way. Rear wheels turn, front wheels turn, and we're driving sideways down the field. Pretty cool. That's really cool. Ah, let's stay out of that manure pile. Look out, buddy, we're bigger. Whew. All right. Wow, Hello, plum war out.
Good evening, Track Shot Live fans, family, friends, and welcome back to the second night of the Juneau County Fair here in Mauston, Wisconsin. The show's going to get underway here in about 12 minutes. We should be starting with Power Wheels. So uh, just a rundown for tonight's running order. National Anthem, then we're going to have a moment of silence, driver introduction, Power Wheels trucks, four six-cylinders, minivans, and the full size. After that, in the Beer Gardens is going to be Cassandra Kilgore. So if you're in the area, come on out and check out Cassandra Kilgore. And if you're in the area and you're not at the Derby, uh, you need to be. I don't know why you're not here. It's gorgeous out. It's kind of hotter than Well Digger's butt up here in this crow's nest with Bill, but we're going to make it through tonight, right, Bill? Bill says right. All right, Tix has uh, abandoned me, so I'm going to go solo for the rest of the night. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm going to run through this amazing list of sponsors. Juno County Fair Demolition Derby has 53 sponsors. It's insanity. Bill, you're going to run those while I run down these. Does that sound good? All right. Here we go, folks. We're going to get this done early so you don't have to hear it again later on. J&M Collision Center, CJJ's Towing and Repair, The Lodge at Mauston, Zeman Machine and Repair, Joseph L. Bolig and Sons Incorporated, Lang Plumbing, Woodcraft Homes, B&H Seal Coating, Gas and Go LLC, Blackstone Technologies LLC, State Street Tap, Napa Auto Parts of Mauston, Manthe Salvage, Cruise Fire and Safety, Concept Printing, Harper's Salvage, Kudik Chevrolet Buick Incorporated, TMC Automotive, Carl's Bright Spot, Babes Country Club, Hammond Auto, Scott's Construction, Hillsboro Equipment, Slamma's Lawn and Sport, Utech Derby Industries, Timmy's Time Out Bar and Grill, Rocky Road Ice Cream, Eskildens, Eskildsen's Tree Service, I'm sorry guys, I butchered that two nights in a row. A&M Plumbing, Mauston Home Furniture and Appliances, Leroy Holt House Insurance Agency State Farm, Wagonson Auction Service, First Choice Realty, Lenore Root Services, Real Inn, ATH Collision, Germantown Junction Center, Mauston True Value, Jams, Two Bent and Dent, Wisconsin River Meats, Cozy's Pizza, Clark Power Sport Group, Mauston Auto Value, Gerke Excavating Incorporated, The Designer's Touch, Celeste Cores, Murray Transport and Recovery, CarQuest of Mauston, Summit Ridge, Heine's Tavern, Log Cabin Deli of Mauston, Doughboy's Pizza, Harmaritas, Little Summit Bar and Grill, Marquee Energy, Mauston Equipment, Derby Addicts Apparel, Best Western of Mauston, Maddie's Pub and Grub, Jose's Mexican Restaurant, Bohica's Pub and Grub, Larry's Welding and Fabrication. Mike Tix, thanks for coming back because <gasps> I am exhausted. <laughs> just breathe a little bit, Mike. Wow. Just breathe. Woo. Yeah. All right, we were out there doing a little pregame, getting everybody pumped up to go buy some raffle tickets. Uh, did you buy raffle tickets for that, Van Mike? I did buy raffle tickets. Oh. You know what, though? It was a donation. You know why? No pants, no shoes. Yeah, well, that's all right. So. You know what? I bet you there is going to, if you win that thing and you give that thing away to somebody, yeah. somebody is going to be happy as heck. Happy, happy. happy. Happy, happy. I would love to drive that thing, oh, buddy. Yeah, no, that's crazy. So uh, the track is looking great again. John and I are just down there walking around. They did get a job leveling it out last night. They ran the compactor over it. It is rock solid. Uh, this thing is ready for day number two. Day number two. It's a beautiful yeah. day, too, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Um, yeah. Tell you what, when we get down here, we're hitting the swimming pool tonight. <laughs> I know that much. I'll tell you what, that sun <laughs> is beating in here on us right in here, and it's like I am sweating like the fat kid in dodgeball, man. I am. It's crazy. I run up those stairs, and I had to stop and breathe on top for a second. It's like, okay, good oxygen. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, right. Well, uh, we got that tank up underneath here for you just in case. Yeah. So. <laughs> <sighs> Woo. Oh, man. Hey, how about that? How about those uh, uh, pre-commercials there? Devil's Tower. Oh, my word. What a beautiful place, huh? Oh, well, you just gave it away. Dag nabbit. All right, so Bill did not run through the running order as we put a script together. Oh, you're going to announce it. Well, perfect time. Oh, if, hey, let's talk about hey, Devil's yeah. Tower, everybody. Yeah. You know, hey, hey, Bill, I totally appreciate making me look like a jack wagon up here. You know, <laughs> totally. That's, that's great. Uh, um, you guys... Uh, please remember, Bill is not a professional. We try yeah. to give him credit every once in a while. Right. He uh, He's horrible at what he does, but we'll give him a tiny little bit Thanks of credit. Thanks for keeping him in line, yep. Sissy. Yeah, yep. exactly. Appreciate it. So failure part two from Bill. <laughs> um, but, hey, all right, so Devil's Tower, though, you're going to see this video coming up. 
We talk about destination derbies and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, it was super cool. So Bill and Sissy were making their travels here from Utah and Colorado, and they stopped at Devil's Tower. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, have you ever been there? I've never been there. I've been really, really close. And, and, and same with me. Same yep. with me. I've been super close and never seen it. But, you know, you guys, as we talk about Destination Demolition Derby, don't forget there are so many cool things on the way to that derby that you need to stop and see. And uh, Bill gave a, a awesome, awesome uh, – actually, you know what? I'm done hey, giving him that kind of credit. Can't he, you see it on, on the way to Gold Rush? Uh, well, no, not for us. No, not no, for you guys? No, not oh, for us. All right. You got to go past it for Gold Rush. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's past it a little bit. But, all right. Uh, um, yeah, so that's it. you're going to see this this awesome video that Bill did with that. So Bill and Sissy went there, and they walked, and they seen it because uh, neither one of them have seen it either. And they're like, hey, Destination 101, we're going to do something awesome. Yes, beautiful. Let's run it. Yeah. No, not now. Oh, no. No, I got it. We, okay. Jesus, we got to get this derby started. Get, <laughs> don't you dare start. No. No, Bill's waiting. Bill's waiting. Yeah, he threw, yeah. The, he threw the organization totally out the window. Probably one of the first times we ever had a script to go off of a yes. tiny little bit, and he's like, oh, oh, no, you can't say scripted. Yeah, we, are right. scripted. We, are, we are not scripted. We're 100% against that. We are so not scripted. So, um, but anyway, so you're going to see that. That was something awesome. And then uh, last night we met we met an awesome gal, and uh, we enjoyed uh, uh, the ribeye sandwich Oh, here today. that was so good. Uh, so sliced, non green The Hasek, Bill, did you run that one? Did, you ran the ribeye. Oh, hey, well, that's oh, hey, you guys would have saw seen that. that one. All right. All right. I like all it. All right. It's wonderful. It's, oh, it's, no, good. it's not at all because <laughs> it's me who's the one that's getting blistered out on this stuff. It's like, hey, well, look at that. Tick sucks at this, too. <laughs> So. Well, you know, you're kind of double duty this weekend. So <laughs> yeah, we we got to forgive you for that. So, you know, just a little bit of history about the the Juno County Fair here in Boston. Uh, John and I, my partner with Track Strong, uh, you know, we've been coming over here and announcing this thing for I think three or four years for these guys. Um, you know, uh, Leo and his wife seen us, you know, do what we do at our shows, and and they they asked if what it would take for us to come over here and help them. This is a small town community, forty two thousand oh, people. They're um, everywhere, everywhere coming. Yeah. Out of the woodwork, but it's actually only like I thought it was going to be Bill's night. Yeah, now we're, now we're back on me. Yeah, we're back oh, on Micah. Great. So awesome. anyway, so it's a small town community right here, buried in the hills, and it's it's gorgeous over here. And John and I have been over here for a while, helping these guys out, having fun with them as as a group and everything. And this year, we are privileged to have Track Shot Live here. Yes, what a privilege it is! I'm so so jacked to be yeah. doing Track Shot in the state of Wisconsin. It's been a long time coming, and we're finally here. And it sounds yeah. like. We're, we're coming back. We're coming back. They, uh, they, they hand shook us last night. We had the president of the fair here super excited. We had, I mean, people in the, in the beer gardens last night listening to music, thanking us and, and everything like that. And your guys' is great support right there. And uh, you listen to that big list of sponsors and everything like that. It's, uh, you know, we just can't, uh, can't say thanks enough to all those people that made it happen to get yeah, us Yeah, I tell you that, band Southbound 39, they were yeah, incredible last night. They were. They did a great job. I'm not sure where they're out of because it doesn't say, but. Kudos to you guys. Yeah, no, don't uh, uh, don't call me. Hey, it's uh, that's for horses, cows, or whatever. Remember his name? Yeah, is Batter Cowboy. I yeah. answer to that. Yep, I so answer to that. That's that was pretty cool. So uh, you know, we had the 4-H gal up here last night. Yep. Uh, you got to see those guys. And she's uh, not a she's not a bird fan though. Not a bird fan. Nope, not a bird fan. Not a bird at fan. All. Watch back for that one. Yep. So that's that was kind of fun for the introduction of her and everything. Uh, the fifty fifty drew five hundred forty bucks, and they're out there killing yes. the tickets again. Yeah. Uh, the bleachers are pretty darn full. There's still more people coming in. A lot of people buy the beer garden because we are in Wisconsin. That's right. And uh, we had people travel just to say hey. Yeah. Oh, Brandon Johnson yeah. traveled in. Yeah. So we appreciate that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, um, yeah, we're getting close to getting this thing ready to go here again today. And uh, I'm going to go down on the track. We're going to announce all that stuff. But uh, you guys, like we said, this is day two of uh, a Juno County Fair right here. Um, good car counts again. Uh, looking like we're going to have another couple hour show. And, and uh, things are going to get wild and salty. They're going to get wild is right. And uh, we cannot wait. And hopefully you can't wait either. Maybe you're at a demolition derby watching. Maybe you're at home watching. Maybe you're in the swimming pool. Maybe you're on a boat on the lake. Send your pictures in. Where are you watching Track Shot Live? We love seeing that stuff, and uh, that's just kind of cool. Yeah. You know? uh, AB Cat Tech had just seen that. You guys got to remember one of our great headline sponsors. They are. This is their hometown state right here, uh, just down the road across the way a little bit over in Burlington, Wisconsin. That is. So so uh, AB Cat Tech is the home right, home, uh, uh, right here for Wisconsin. That's um, right. 
you know, we got uh, I, I I got my I got my Indy CNC. I just seen Cannonball come up. I got the better side yeah, of them. Right. Indy CNC. Wow, bam, mm. bam. <laughs> so, uh, like I say, you guys, as you're seeing all these reels of sponsors coming across on the on the bottom side of your screen, there, make sure you shout out at them and say thanks for everything, and uh, you know, appreciate the sponsorship that they throw at Trackshot Live, so that uh, we can keep giving you free '99 family for forever and ever and ever. Yeah, uh, you know, I love our sponsors. Yeah. They are so good to us. We can't do this without them. And uh, you see their names there. We say them all the time. Um, s- please support them. Yeah, absolutely. Please support them. Tell yep. them, you know what, we saw you on track shot. When you see them in the pits, you know, we saw you on track shot. We love what you guys are doing. Thanks for the innovation that's coming out of some of these shops. And yeah, it's just so cool to see businesses grow as uh we all march forward to make this a, a better sport for everybody. Yeah, no doubt about it. Like, I seen Gray Area pop up there. Um, you know, they're doing some some fun waffles online and everything like that. Get online, take a look at uh, at Ralph Legis' Gray Area demo parts. He's doing some, you know, in his waffles, I mean, they're – they're very fairly priced. I mean, he's not making extra money on them or anything like that. So that's that's super cool. So, um, but hey, I'm gonna jump on off. Uh, Mike is gonna do the professional thing here and keep things going. I'm gonna jump on the track and do the announcements, and I get this thing going, and then I'll be right back up. Let's rock it. Send somebody up here to hang out, Tim. Oh, Whoa! For Look out for the 14s, would you, buddy? All right. So it's just me now, as you can tell. We are still live. We are still in Boston, Wisconsin, and if you're within, well, 30 minutes of this place now, you need to be here. 30 minutes from Boston. Get here and get in the seats. Next up, we're going to Stoneboro. That's going to be a great show. Going to go hang out with Sauer and Frankie Guy and the crew out there. Looking forward to that, hanging out with the MWFA, um, watching the MWFA class. Look, we're going to Minnesota Throwdown in October, and we are trying to. No, we're not trying to anymore. We're going to. We're going to break the world record with 130 cars on the track at one time. And if we can do that, folks, Mike Tix is going to put $10,000 in one envelope. I think we might as well patch down to them, Bill, and just kind of let them do the on track stuff again like we did last night. We're going to bring all of them out for the, we'll be doing the national anthem shortly, so all drivers report out to the track. All right, folks, we're going down to the track with John Baird and Mike Tix. Up and down the steps, you got all your steps in today. I like it, Mike. <laughs> oh, I had to take a two-hour nap earlier today. You guys, uh, uh, Juneau County, Moston, you guys wore me out last night, no doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> had to be all that dancing out in the beer tent after the show last night. Ah, uh, you know, the wrists are getting sore opening up them bush lattes. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll be back over there trading war stories with all the drivers tonight. So, Because after tonight, they can relax. They don't have to go home and fix anything for tomorrow, so we're good to go. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hey, crowd, as you're watching all these drivers come out here, you got to give these guys a huge round of applause because there are a lot of shows that don't hardly have 20 people show up. You guys have got four heats of great counts of cars that are going to put on an awesome show for you guys. So give us a big round of applause and make a little noise for these drivers, please. And, you know, as long as we're giving thanks, Mike, before we get into the national anthem, which we're going to bring Rebecca out here to perform, Let's give some thanks to some others, one of the reasons that we're here today. Yeah, no doubt about it. How about our veterans? Let's have our veterans stand up with all these drivers, please. Let's give these guys credit. These men and women are the ones that gave us the freedom to stand here and make our choices for those callers right there. It is these great men and women that gave us the great option of freedom of choice. Thank you for everything you guys have given us. The past, the present, the future, and the never forgotten, the fallen. You guys are always in our hearts and our mind. And at this time, we would like to ask everybody to please rise, remove your headwear, as we honor our flag with the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we twilight's last gleaming whose 
whose stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling, the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Wonderful job. That's your own Rebecca Schultz. Thank you so much. Before we move on, we do need to take a moment of silence for some of the drivers and other people involved in the Derby community that we lost over this last year or so. So at this time, we would like to ask you everybody to please take this moment of silence in remembrance of Lucas Olson, Colin Cunningham, Willie Owens, Bob Kastner, Dwayne Eden, Fred Schaff, Bobby Brockway, and Zach Winker. Another name that we'd like to ask uh, everybody to keep in your prayers right now is a big part of our Derby community and our own Derby family, Skinny Elser. He's fighting a, a good fight right now. And as all those drivers that we listed and all those people that are involved in the Derby family, the Derby community, let's make some noise and let them know that we're still here doing exactly what they loved us to keep this tradition on. You know, it's always tough when you got to have that moment of silence, but when you have a family like this, unfortunately, we're going to lose people. And, you know, we always ask the good Lord to send everybody home safe, and we keep our prayers for everybody out here. So please, you guys, just remember, be patient, be kind, take care of one another, and just enjoy Demolition Derby because it is family. And at this time, I'm going to announce each one of the drivers and their sponsors. Um, apologies ahead of time if I butcher any names here, but uh, go ahead and raise your hands so you can walk off the track at this time. We are going to start with the truckie. We have Bob Johnson in the 115. He's sponsored by Beer Belly Racing and Johnson Motorsports. Larry Richmond in the 97 or in the R57. He's sponsored by Nemitz Stump Grinding, Bradley Farms, Hoping for a Home Dog Rescue, and Larry's Welding. Chad Beckworth in the number 79, sponsored by WeBuild, Custom Concrete Masonry, Zolik Home Rep Repairs, and Larry's Welding and Fab. Uh, Blake Hins in the number 20, he sponsors our Beer Belly Racing and Johnson Motorsports. Taylor Mills in the A2, his sponsors are Pit Stop Auto Care and Poor Richards Salon. Saloon? Well, Taylor can work on his handwriting. Uh, Danny Rodenschmidt in the number 7B, sponsored by Lodi Shell. Mike Duffy in the 768, sponsored by Duffy Farms and Pit Stop Auto. Corey Liebersbach in the number 77, sponsored by Matthew Salvage and the Boys. Dawson Richmond in the 18R, sponsored by Ruffs Detailing and Tint, Annie's Barbershop, Rise and Grind Coffee Shop. R&T Liquidation, Wisconsin River Meats, TW Easy Clean, Tabor Bar and Grill, uh, looks like U Semco, Fry, Fry Vinyl, and Larry's Welding. Kevin Hins in the number 40, Beer Belly Racing and Johnson Motorsports. Cullen Lindner in the 147, sponsored by Motivation Fitness and Last Minute Racing Car Quest. Moving on to the four and six cylinders, we have Dalton Lee. He's in the Buick Regal D1, He's sponsored by Rotten Motorsports, Nana and Papa, Salvage Yard, and Slater Racing. Bryce Clark in the 612 car. His sponsors are Mom and Dad. Tyler Newland in the number five. Sponsors are Doghouse 
Doghouse Bar, Shot and Motorsports, Jason Shop and his wife and kids. Dave Maher in the 918. Sponsors are Al's Recycling and Taylor's Automotive. Damon Shinansky in the K42. The sponsors are Ski Family Trucking. Jason Weber in the number 89, TC Auto Works, L&M Salvage, and Celeste Coors. Rick Carter, who we gotta say happy birthday to, in the number three, sponsors are Jason Shops and Celeste Coors. Dan Shinansky in the K71, sponsored by Ski Family Trucking. Drew Shinansky in the K72, sponsored by Ski Family Demo. Chris Hurlitz in the number 15, sponsored by BOD, I believe there. Xavier Bing Binger in the number 06, sponsored by Jason Weber. Cody Johnson in the number 26, sponsored by Heartland Farms and Saratoga Customs. Next up, we have the Vans. Keegan Smith in the number 22, sponsored by Morris Carpentry. Joe DeBlades and Equipment. We have Andy Rick in the number 50, sponsored by Hammond Auto and Side Hill Dairy. Dan Fry in the number 18, sponsored by Fireball Lanes Bar and Grill, Greats Repair, Dustin McCracken, and Wife and Kids. Last night's van champion, Thomas Winker in the T-16, is returning, and he's, he's sponsored by Dance Trucking, Mustin Interstate BP, Rotten Motorsports, in memory of Zach Winker and Grandpa, thanks Nana and Uncle John. Chris Pelisek in the 98P. His sponsors are Three Seeds Guide Service, Asgard Axe and Tap, Animal House, Reedsburg Car Quest, NLR, and Stellar Builders. And finishing up for our classes is the full size. First up, we have C Chris Clements in the number 10. Sponsors are Matthew Salvage, Mickey's Body Shop Bar, uh, Bar and Grill, Maddie's Pub and Grub, The Boys from Yard, and Wife and Kids. David Stone in the number eight, sponsored by Manthe Salvage. Nick Winker in the number 88, sponsors our DSS, Duffy Farms, and Bunker Automotive. Corey Liebersbach in the number 77, sponsored by Manthe Salvage, and yes, I am the front tire finder. Bernie Vanderhoof in the number 68, Sponsored by Matthew Salvage, Bad Boys Demolition, and thank you to Byron. Mike Eden, he's in the XYZ car, sponsored by Matthew Salvage and Boys at Yard. Dan Rodenschmidt in the number 76, sponsors by our Lodi Shell and Deal Metal Recycling. Danny Rodenschmidt in the number D76, sponsored by Lodi Shell. And finishing up for our drivers is Travis Hancock at the number 62. He's sponsored by Matthew Selvage and Hammond Auto. Good luck to all you drivers. Luck's got nothing to do with it, though, does it? No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, you got to get lucky every now and then. But hey, at this time, I got Charity coming out here, and she has got an award to hand out. Charity is one of our uh, fair board members. And speaking of rounds of applause, let's give it up for the fair board members that put everything on here. I mean, it is a lot of work that these guys donate and put in time, so thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Like you said, I'm part of the Juno County Fair Board. First, just want to thank you all for being here, thanking the sponsors for making this possible year after year. But really what I want to do is take a time to recognize two very special individuals for our fair. The first has dedicated over 20 plus years to the fair. He supplies the equipment year after year. He covered the entire cost, put brand new blacktop up by the barns, and he does it with a smile on his face and never asks for a thank you or a pat on the back. He does it for the kids. He does it for the fair, for the community. He does it for the right reasons. So please help me recognize All right, folks, we're back. And who do we have with us in the booth tonight? Long time track shot live fan friend and family 
Sir, tell us your name and tell everybody at home your name. Look right up there in that camera. Chris Palasek and from, Cri Bar from Baraboo. Chris Palasek from Baraboo. And Chris, what class are you running in tonight? Minivan. Minivan class. Hey, Chris, look at me, buddy. Who's your favorite track shot live guy? You. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Two. I'm up to two fans, folks. I'm up to two fans. Uh, you got another one out there that's kind of sick right now. What's his name? Skinny. Yeah, you're skinny. You're a good friend of Skinny's, aren't you, buddy? Yep. Yeah, I know you've been praying for him, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, you sure have. What did you think? Now, tell everybody what happened last night with your helmet, Chris. Do you remember? Do you know? Yeah. It just kept popping off, popping didn't it? Popping off because the snap got broke. Uh-huh. From one of that and stuff, and never thought about it, and it feels like, like it's like, man, when could I catch a breakup, there? Right. And well, what's the good news for tonight is you got a better helmet, right? Yep. All right. I want to give a shout out to Cody Johnson for bringing me one t for tonight. I lost all my audio. So say that again. I want to give a big shout out to Cody Johnson for bringing me it to, for bringing me a new helmet. Okay. Thank you. Hold on a second. All right. So the the van class is third tonight. Is that correct? Yep. All righty. And what are you hoping to do tonight? Junk it. Junk it. Yes. Hey, you can see down on the track right now, folks, power wheels are going. <clears throat> Again, we got six power wheels. That's a pretty good number, huh? Yes. Yeah. Do you know anybody that does power wheels, Chris? Nope. Man, no. Man, I wish they had it when I was a little kid. Yeah, I bet so. Hey, do you like Fatty? I never meet that guy. Never met him before? Oh, man. You'd enjoy Fatty. I yeah, think you guys would get along good. Probably. What about Decker? He's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. That's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Josh Decker is a nice guy. I like Josh a lot. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris, do you only run vans specifically? Actually, this is the first time. Okay. And I was supposed to be... Two years ago, I was supposed to be done, but uh, I heard you guys coming. I told my wife, I got to get a vehicle so I could be run track shot. And that is one of my goals is to run a track shot live show, and I did it. And you did it. And now, look, you're one of our guest commentators tonight. Yep. That's awesome. And he's got the bobby cam in his van tonight. Oh, you figured it out, huh? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Chris was a really, really big fan of Bobby, as many people were and still are. And he wears this shirt proudly uh, at a lot of derbies he goes to, don't you, buddy? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Bobby was uh, was really special to Chris. So. Yep. Yep. He, like, the first time I meet him, it felt like, he opened his arm to my wife, my kid, and myself, and I feel like he was, uh, I was part of his family. Yep, that's and, right. And it sucks that he, it, he passed away. Yes, it, it does. Yes, it does, man. Yep. Well, I know Bobby really enjoyed spending time with you guys when he got to see you. And uh, you meant a lot to him as well, and it's so cool that you can carry on his name and that you have those memories with him, isn't it? Yep. Yep, for sure. What are you seeing down there for action on the track right now, Chris? Look like it's fun. I wish they had, <laughs> a, I wish they had an adult power wheel hey, so we could have fun. They do. It's your van. Yep. <laughs> yeah, need a lot of batteries to push an adult around maybe. Yep. I don't know. <clears throat> Hey, did you buy any uh, opportunities to win that raffle van? No. No, not this time? Well, you already had a van. Yeah. Well, it just made sense you didn't have to, right? Yep. Yeah, and you got a good van you're bringing back tonight. Yeah. Plenty of it left, isn't there? Yep. Yep. 
And what what uh, what kind of van you running, Chris? 2005 Ten and Country Chrysler yep. Ten and Country. Yep. Was it a stow and go? No. No. Okay. All right. That should be a good van for you. Yep, it yeah. is. Hey, where, what uh, what demolition derby are you going to next? Uh, probably this is the la this this is the only one. Yeah. It, it, it all depends how tonight turn out, and it might be down to Lord I for the Apple Faith Field next okay. Saturday night. Okay, but. That's one you're going to run in, or that's one you're going to watch? How many are you going to watch the rest of the year? Maybe just that one? That one, and then Adam and Sunday and my birthday. Oh, when's your birthday? Next Sunday. Well, happy early birthday to you, Chris, from all of us at Track Shot Live, buddy. Thank you. And how old are you? 25. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, all right. 25. <laughs> Woohoo! What are you going to do to celebrate? Cake and ice cream? I don't know. Not sure yet. Well, if you win tonight, you can take the wife out for a nice dinner. Hey. Yeah, but my daughter's going. We got to move my daughter up to college. Yes. On Saturday to UW Falls. Yep, I saw uh, that she was going to college. Just Now, she graduated from high school with some high honors, didn't she? No. No? No, she graduated from Baraboo. Okay, Baraboo. All right. I've, I see so many things on Facebook. I apologize. I Kind of mixed it up. You with somebody else, buddy. I, I apologize for that. That is okay. All right. Well, you know what you could do on your birthday? You could just watch this interview over and over and over again. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. What a great way to have a birthday, huh? Yep. And I told everybody at work that track shot will be on. We'll be up the both nights and stuff and... I gave them the links, and they let me hit the like button on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's pretty important, isn't it? Yep. That's awesome. And then you can also set it up for notifications. Yeah, so, I know. So it will tell you when we're coming live, right? Yep. And I know you got your notifications set up, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Now, do you like this Mike Tix guy? He's an okay guy. He's okay? All right. He may come on here and chit-chat with you if you wanted. I don't care. You don't care? He doesn't scare you? Nope. No? Okay. All right. He doesn't care, folks. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I went up, my first time meeting you guys, I was like, it's good to meet Jason. Yeah? I was like, J Sterling and stuff, and then rest of the time it was easy. Then Saturday I talked to Skinny and told Skinny about it. He like, Heck, man, we more scared of meeting you guys than you guys all meeting us. Yep, yep, that's right. That's right. Skinny, uh, well, Jason's so easy to get along with. Yeah. You know, Jason just makes it so easy, and, and you can watch him sit there and do his thing and hang out, and that's pretty cool, huh? Now, yeah. I know you really, really, really wanted a Jason Sauer paint job, didn't you? Yep. Yep, I know you did. You're a big fan of Sauer's, too, aren't you, buddy? Yep. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan of you. I was down there, and I seen you up here, and I'm like, I got to race up and say hi, you know. I got to tell you, I appreciate all the following you do with us and uh, all the nice messages you send me and everything, so uh, your whole family in general. Yeah, like like when, there's no, no, not, we didn't, no, when we spend time together and say, hey, what do you got? Ask Eliza, what does she want to watch? She's like, Track Strat Live, like, okay. Yep, <laughs> that's right. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But, Chris, seriously, I like I said, I raced up here to say thanks, and I appreciate the living heck out of everything you do for Track Shot, my family, and, and just the, the derby world in general. But um, have you ever spoken about the helmet? You got yeah. that taken care of? Yes, I did. Okay, I just want to double check. I don't know if Micah brought that up or not. Oh, yeah, yep. I brought that up. That was one of the first things. <laughs> It's funny. I sit down. It's the same thing. The first thing, yeah. you know. We had to break the ice, Tex. You know, yeah. this is one way to break the ice. Oh, Look no doubt there. about it. The picture. You want a picture? All right. Picture on track shot. There you go, buddy. That's what it is. All right. We got the trucks getting ready to come out. I don't mean to kick you off. We got to talk about some stuff and all that, Chris. We appreciate the living heck out of the family and everything like that. Please keep following Track Shot Live. Please keep coming out, putting on a show and everything like that. We uh, greatly, greatly appreciate everything you do for the Derby World, buddy. 
uh, not about the money for me, it's about the fans and yep. stuff. And people that I meet is like sec my second family and stuff. Uh huh. And you got the Bobby cam tonight. You said you're going to send it for Bobby, aren't yep. you? Oh, that's right. huge. Great. Well, number one, be safe out there, right? Yep. Make sure you're safe and everything. Enjoy every bit of it. And uh, thanks so much for coming up here and being being part of it. So. So, Chris, we absolutely appreciate it. Good luck out there, brother. Thank you, And have guys. a good one, Thanks, man. Buddy. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate you, man. Watch your step getting out Yeah, of here, don't Chris. trip over the cords. Okay. Chris is grabbing his water because, like we said, it's uh, it's steamy here in it Wisconsin. It is. No doubt about it. For no sure. doubt about it. They're putting that water to see you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate it. <clears throat> you know, so we're, we're sitting here watching them put that water down, and that track is just sucking it up. Oh, like yeah. That. It's disappearing I mean, as fast as yeah. going down. Yeah. Oh, that's so the kids are out there doing their power wheels. You know, I really like it how they give the uh, the driver recognition like that, and, uh, and and you know, so all that, and that's that's totally awesome how they give that recognition and everything. Yeah. And uh, um, you know, it's I just uh, it's something you don't see everywhere. No, you don't see that everywhere, and I thought that that was cool, also, Mike. Um, you know, a show like this, you know. The fans want to know who they're watching. They want to cheer for them. You know, yeah. it's just, it's super cool. Another thing that I like that people do is they talk about the tech guys, you yeah. know. That's really cool, too. I appreciate it when you did that last weekend. And I don't know. It's just, it's neat, you know. Well, you know, and, and it's one of those things, given that recognition, especially like the techs, you know, uh, you know, Leo and, and family, they have, you know, a diverse group of people here from Wisconsin that come here and inspect. Uh, they got all kinds of different uh, uh, level of builders, and you, know, you got old veteran builders. You got some new people. You know, they got Teddy and Bakken that are here this year helping out. Uh, you know, Jordan Bakken has done done a lot here for old school, and and, and it's 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 been good. Um, you know, it just kind of puts a different flavor in that line. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's it's just neat to see. It's neat to talk to them guys, find out where they're from, what they do for a living. You know, how they got into Derby. Uh, it's super cool. And, with your show, we had people from all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it is a very diverse crowd there. There's, there's no doubt about it. I, um, but it's, it, you know, that's it. That's what it, it takes at, at times. Look, well, I mean, it's neat because they bring all their expertise and they see different things in different parts of the country. Yeah, you know. Yep. And they can get together on it and say, hey, this is what we're kind of seeing. You may be seeing it soon, or vice versa. You know what Micah brings to the table? He's got really nice handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is my job, my job. <laughs> Micah, is, he's got a pen, paper, and a clipboard, and everybody's yelling at him, hey, did you write this down? Did you write this down? It's like, And it's so nice when they come back for reinspection. It's like you can read it. It's like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've always prided myself on that. Uh, yeah. You know, if people can't read my message, then what's the point of writing it down? Uh, yep, waste you know? of time. Yeah, waste, waste of time. Of time. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what your wife keeps you around for, so you can label the soup cans better. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, I'll never forget the story George Shooty told me one time, and uh, actually maybe it was Tori, but once a week each kid got to go because George worked at the grocery store, yep. so he'd bring home all the cans that weren't labeled. They'd put them in a cupboard, and once a week a kid would get to go in there and just pull out so many cans and they never knew what they were going to have until they opened the cans but then the, the kids started to figure out well if it's got this many ribs on it it's peas or if it's got this many like, how cool is that oh, man? Heck so yeah. you bring up writing on soup labels that just reminds <laughs> me of those guys you know talking about the shooty family i wonder if ryan shooty's out there watching he is always watching one of those guys that's uh big shout out to the shooty family ryan shooty uh Hopefully you're out there listening and not watching. It's uh, haven't talked to you for a little while, and well, hopefully he's getting that car ready to come up to Minnesota Throwdown. Minnesota Throwdown, baby. Yeah, that is. It's uh, we're talking about it. Actually, talking about the Minnesota Throwdown. I'm going to use a little pitch right here. We got a little yep. dead time. Um, you guys, October sixth uh, and seventh, we are at the Minnesota Throwdown in Minnesota at Dakota County Fairgrounds. Uh, it's a big big awesome track and uh, we are going to try to break that world record in Jason Sowers MWFA class that has been all across the country we want to put that world record on that MWFA class right there in Dakota County in Farmington Minnesota right live on track shot if you guys want to be part of that go on minnesotathrowdown.com and take a look at it there is going to be if we break that world record there is somebody going to walk away with 10 thousand dollars in their hand and it's not going to be the winner you guys that's everybody crazy. has the same chance at it all right we got trucks coming out enough of that pitch of that thing i'll talk about uh, yeah wow you know what i'm 
I'd like to be part of that, Tick, so we're going to have to talk after this. and uh, I guarantee it about See if one, I can get my butt in a seat. About 1.30 at the close down, and you know where we're going to be. It'll probably be a great time. <laughs> prime, prime lit and licked. <laughs> the 115 of Bob John, Johnson out of Moss, and the 97 Larry Richmond out of Toma. The 79, Chad Beckwith out of Hillsboro. The 20 of Blake Hinsey out of Mauston. The A2 of Taylor Mills out of Baraboo. The 76 of Danny Rotenschmidt out of Lodi. The 768, which is carrying our bobby cam. Uh, Mike Duffy out of Mauston. The 77 of Corey Le Liebersbach out of Stanley. Liebersbach. The 18R, Dawson Richmond out of Elroy. The 40, Kevin Hinsey out of Baraboo. The 147, Colin Lidner out of Mauston, Wisconsin. You know what? Let's give a big shout out to the truck number 79 of Chad, uh, Chad Beckwith. Beckwith. Um, he got absolutely. Uh, I, don't want, I don't know how to say it. Dang it. I'm going to be. He was, you know what? he was in a tough spot last night. He was night. in a tough spot. He yep. drove his living butt off yes. and took third place. And uh, he was number one in all of our hearts, man. Yep. He drove yep. and. And, uh, yeah, so. You guys can go back and watch that. You know where to find it. Yeah. Uh, it's not our call. It's the official's call. But he was in a tough spot. Yes, he was. Yep. Absolutely. So, but, hey, please remember, you know, they do everything they possibly can to keep team driving to a minimal. So it's a fair shot for the one-man band that comes out here and, and uh, wants to put on a good show. Yep. Oh, we got the trash can truck. Oh, he's back again from last year. Yep. Look at that. You throw some tips in there. You should turn it the other way around. Yeah. Let's catch something. <laughs> I tell you what, there's some passionate Derby fans here, Mike. Oh, there are. There are. Number 76 pulling out there, Dan Rodenschmidt. He was the winner of last night. He's out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Look at those grandstands. They are full. They are nothing but elbows and elbows up. Yes, it's they a are. Good time. And uh, look at how many are over at the beer gardens, too. I sit there and I laugh and joke about the beer gardens, you guys. But I'll tell you what, that is one thing Wisconsin is well known for. They know how to have fun over here. That's, That's right. why Mike is so proud to say that this is his home state. Home state, baby. I want to give a quick shout-out to Austin and Larry watching back in Bath, New York. Oh, wow. All Thank the way you. in New York. Thank yep. you, guys. We're going to close it up here. And we are going to be underway, Mike Tex. What are your thoughts on tonight? Oh, you know, they're doing the same running orders they did last night. Um, you know, these trucks are going to be wild. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome to start out with them. And, and uh, just, just be on the edge of your seat right now, you guys. I guarantee you, you're going to see one heck of a show right here. Just so everybody knows, I posted a picture on my Facebook of this. And many of you asked if I could see the track at all. I do stand up when you're not on when I'm not on camera, so I can't see the track. Yeah. But, yeah. No, we have an awesome crow's nest to be in here. That's why yes. we've got this wonderful angle for Bill to get. You know, he can get 90% of that track in, uh, in in one angle. I mean, look at that right there, you guys. Beautiful. And the sun is starting to go down just a little bit. And yep. It breezes out. I am liking that. <laughs> you're not beating up as two, one. Let's go. Let's derby. Green flag derby. I want to also give a shout out to Bubbles. I know she's watching. Yeah. Thank you, Bubbles and Skin Dog. A couple guys just kind of hanging out on the wall up there, Mike. Yeah, they're just kind of waiting to see how, yep. how it goes and where it goes. Actually, it looks like the number 20 is having problems. Looks like he's up. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Found it. Found it. Oh, the 147. Wow. Colin Lindner. Well, the big track shot. They two pounding on the 155, 115 of Bob Johnson up along the high side of the wall. Here comes Trash Can. Oh, he pulled wow. that corner in. Woo! Look out for that guy if he gets back running. Oh, look at the 115, man. They're going to have to, Jeepers, they're going to have to stop it for him. Holy smokes. Look that at that. Truck buckled right in half. Wow. There we go. That'll get their attention. Wow. Holy smokes, <laughs> that was uh, That was a heck of a shot. Yeah, it was. Excuse me. Woo. 
Well, it's a little easier to get out of that truck. It's closer to the ground. That's my kind of truck right <laughs> there. there. You go. I'd be able to get into that one. There you go. Look at that crowd. Give him a huge round of applause. Maybe she was a little rotted. Yeah. Might have been a little rotted out. Oh, and a fire on top of it. These firefighters here always have a charged line. Yeah. I love that about this place. That line is always charged and ready to rock. And no messing around with water cans or any of that stuff. No, they come straight out. I mean, they're going to put that thing out now. Yep. You know, as, uh, as, as we've traveled all around the country for demolition derby and stuff like that, you know, we've really seen the, the different levels of first responders, and you have to give it to the city of Austin right here. They're first responders. I mean, they, they're all volunteer here, and they're just on top of stuff. They're ready to go. And look at how fast they make this stuff move. It's like, let's get this taken care of and get these guys going, and, and let's yep. not waste time. Well, they don't want to be in them suits any longer than they have to be either. So, oh. that man, those things are hot. I tell you what, if you're just standing there, you're sweating most times. Micah, how heavy are those things? You're a firefighter. Uh, I'm. It's been a while since I've been in one, but I'm guessing in that 8 to 12 pound range, That's somewhere in there, you know. They're just thick, you know, yeah. and they don't breathe. They're just dense. Yeah. And then by the time you load up your gear pockets and, yeah, piling and weight on. Oh, the 20 just took a neck breaker. He did not see that one coming. Nope. Oh, that one. Oh, and he's up in the air and almost over. But he writes the ship just in time yes. to take another shot. Wow. I tell you what, that official woke up in a hurry. Yeah, he did. He was on his toes there for a second. Yep. I don't think he quite seen everything coming through on him. 20 come out of that hole and gave a little whack there. He said, I'm back. Oh, this is going to be a big hit. Right wow. Oh, my oh. word. Holy smokes. I think he's up. Oh, he, oh, he, he got her. Oh, now he's, now he's coming, baby. You know, that water didn't help slow him down at all. No. Not at all. Look at how dry that track I already got. It's already dusting over. Great big track shot by the 76 yep, into the back end of that 20. Danny Rodenschmidt. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, that cage is bar, loose. That yep. It is. He's trying to break off. He broke off. I mean, they almost got to stop it for that, don't yeah. they, Mike? Wow, that's, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Calling a red or not? Yeah, finally. Hopefully they get that halo. Oh, they're going for the bumper. Track hazard. I see the bumper. They didn't even. I don't think anybody seen no, that halo. No, I don't think they have either. I mean, it's just weird. It's outside. Yeah, oh, it, it broke off. It yeah. came off that cage, and it is outside the. If he jumps out of the truck, that'd be better. There you go. Perfect. Yep, He's good. jumping out. We're talking about the 40 of Heinz right there in front of us. There, that that halo is completely broke off from the from the the back seat bar there. So, still dangerous. I mean, somebody hits that thing and comes yes, flying off. It could definitely come into the action. <clears throat> I don't know, folks. Night two of the trucks are definitely not a letdown yet. No, they've definitely turned it up since last night. Yeah. And last night was good. Yeah, last night you know? was great. <laughs> so tonight's just that much better. Oh, 
Well, if they're looking for fuel or what they're doing. Yeah, it down looked there. like something. They were looking around that truck for safety, yep. no doubt about it. Who is that truck 82 out there? A2 right, of Taylor Mills out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. A2's coming in hot. Look at this shot up against the wall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Chad Woo. hit that one hard. 147 coming in on him, oh my. The A2 just going track one side to the other. Great action down on the back side of the track from 76. Yeah, Taylor Mills just packing them in down there. Seventy-nine to Chad Beck with just doing everything he can to get free from the wall here. He's got a broken axle. Oh yeah. There you go. Good catch, Mike. And it's out, and we got a red flag. Big shout out to that official right there, man. He came all the way across the track to get that axle. <laughs> he was the furthest one away, but he's I got that. No I got worries. That one. <clears throat> Another driver getting out, holding his elbow. Yeah, he took, took a shot. Took good there. licks. Yeah, he took a shot. About 147 and 76 came on through there, and I think he just kind of incidentally got into that hit. Waves off the EMTs. Once again, we give all the first responders, and we always talk about the firefighters. Let's not forget about the EMTs right here. That's right. You know. Doing a fantastic job for everybody here at Juneau <laughs> County. Officials. Hold. Okay. It Down on the far end, trash can, 77 jumped out. Yep. Well, his drive shaft's just laying on the ground. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, yep. look at that. Still spinning, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know. They must have saw that. They must have saw that drive shaft spinning or something down there. Yep, he's climbing back in that truck. There, we got it stopped. Your opinion for hard One forty seven of Colin Lindner, the A two of Taylor Mills, the seventy six of Danny Rodenschmidt. So we're talking about the hardest hitter out there, and we're I said both Mike and I both said number seventy seven should get it. And this is exactly why seventy seven should get it, because these guys are gonna love tap one another here because they're all buddies. Yep. Is the 768 still in it, the Bobby Cam? I, I can't tell what this number is. I don't believe so. I believe okay. that's that far corner truck down there. Trying to see who's stalled in the middle of the track there, but I can't quite see the number.
Come on, drivers, let's put a show on. These yep. people paid good money to come watch a show. Be the entertainer and give them the entertainment that they deserve. Here comes a good hit out of the A2. Buckles the 147. Wow. The 147 is waving off, but not break. There he's breaking his stick. Down to two. Number one, four, seven, Cullen Lindner. Third place, four, four, seven. I'd like to get back onto your world record attempt, Mike. I heard last night you really, really need people to pre-register for that. Yeah, absolutely. We want to know how close we are going to be to that record because, you know, the track can only hold 130 cars, and I don't want 150 to show up. I mean, I do, no doubt about it, but, you know, it just we want to make sure. And if we're only 20 cars short, I'll go buy every car that I can find in the Twin Cities to get to that record. <laughs> I mean, we want that record with TSL and TrackStrong so bad right along with Jason Sauer at MWFA. That's right. We talked to a lot of guys this weekend who are considering it, and you know, we might have changed some minds. We may have done just that. Talked to them yesterday, and they were kind of on the fence. Talked to them today, they're a little bit more excited about it, so. Yeah, so seriously, you guys, take a look at it and see what's going on, and, and uh, get on out there and take a look at what uh, minnesotathrowdown.com. And the best part about it is, is that's one of the shows where all the TS guys, will, TSL guys, will be there. Yep. They only have 30 seconds to make a hit. You know what? If those, if those officials are on the clocks with these guys, oh, uh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's a problem. I guess I was wrong. He's telling him to bring it. There we go. Yeah, now it's starting to lay over, and he breaks off. Yep. There you go, back-to-back -back night winners there. Danny Rodenschmidt in the 76 out of Lodi, Wisconsin, is your winner. Give me that. Whoa, he's doing the fatty. Yeah. Holy hey. smokes. Wow, give that man a belt. My goodness. And your hard hitter for tonight for the extra $100 well, is number 77. My goodness. Number 77. Speaking of fatty. What do, what do we got? Wait, wait a minute. Tix just ran said, off. Tix just ran off. Did I hear somebody say fatty? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. We got a fatty right here. Oh, hey. hey. Whoa, let's fatty. Talk about, let's, let's talk about belts. It, oh, you, got, you got a belt? Oh, my word. Holy smokes. All right, we'll be, we'll be right back, folks. Yeah, boy. Uh, boy, let me tell you what. I heard fatty and I heard belt and I just came out of nowhere. I forgot my ring though. <laughs> forgot your ring. Yeah. <laughs> By golly. Nah. I, you know, when you when you are as good as you are, you can just fly places because you're riding so high all the time. I just drop in out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, my goodness, fatty's caddy's just taking me everywhere Take, these days. Taking you absolutely everywhere. And I tell you what, welcome to Wisconsin, fatty. <sighs> I don't think I've ever been to Wisconsin. Beautiful, isn't it? It is totally beautiful. Now I understand why did you move from here? Yeah, well, I got good reason. I got good reason. Beautiful wife and family. So. Yeah, she called me the other night. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, she probably told you to leave me alone. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. But I tell you what, when that guy jumped out and he wanted a belt, I was like, I know exactly where I need to be at this moment. Yeah? That was just perfect timing. You're like the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus or something. I got nickels. <laughs> I got nickels. Yeah, I got a ring, I got a belt, and I got nickels. Yep. Every now and again, you may have some dimes. And their dimes do come around at times, <laughs> and they leave real fast. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, you guys, I tell you what. It's super awesome to be here and, uh, you know, have a legendary status like Fatty. Uh, I'm just happy that I could be part of this. Hey, have you seen any black frames while you're here? Oh, there are tons of them around yeah. here. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, you bet. 
<laughs> oh my god, this thing's hotter than hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so funny. I didn't know that was a traveling costume. I tell you what, Mike. <laughs> we Dude, use- that is hot as that. You can't. I'm like, I'm I'm wringing wet. And, I feel and, sorry for who has to wear the fatty costume next. <laughs> it's got it's got it's got a neck batter underneath it. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful sunset. Oh yeah. But the only that. problem with that is, Mike, it took the breeze with it. Oh, I did. Oh my word. It did. It is stale. It is stale as can be right now. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Good shot there, Bill. All right, you guys. They just gave away that seventy er, to the truck seventy-seven. Got a hundred-dollar handshake for hard hitting. Um, you know, that was kind of the whole thing. I don't. I, we don't mean to, to call anybody out or anything like that. But I mean, you know, he was putting a show on from start to where he was done. I mean, that's all he was trying to do. So that's right. He just went out and laid it down. Yeah. No, that was that was awesome. Huh. Hey. Look who checked. Adam Burkhalter checked in tonight. Oh, Adam, what's up, brother? I was trying to get him here because he's only like 15 minutes away, but they're trying to get that place sold. So, oh, yep, got work to do, don't you, buddy? He's always working. Oh, he's no time for play. Ah, oh, that's all right. We'll get him up uh, to the throwdown, maybe. Yeah, that would be awesome. Be fun. That would be awesome. <clears throat> uh, sissy, you might want to wash that. <laughs> a little bit of bleach would and, go and, a long ways with that. And thing. formaldehyde. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how hot that thing was. I, I can't I just, only like, imagine. The second I put it on, it just started dripping. <laughs> well, well, they got to be that way all the time then, don't they? Yeah. I mean, Fatty's always just got to have a – it's like a sponge, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but how can he jump up and show a belt in the, in the, in the costume? Is right there to be part of Fatty. That's right. We're just missing the, the ring. So cool. Mm. You know, got to give a shout-out to all these uh, – the, the equipment drivers or equipment operators here. They do a great job getting this track cleaned off, leveled off, and, you know, they got those them tractors with those hooks on the back on the three-point. They come out there and, and get them off right there, the number 77 that's getting pulled off. I believe Bill's got that on there, yep. Yep. Uh, you know, that number 77 get pulled off right there. He got the $100 handshake. That was um, that was sponsored by uh, D, D&T Concrete. Yeah, we oh, don't have it up God. on our sheet. I gave it. It's Teddy. It's Teddy out of uh, – out of uh, um, Trumpolo area, that's, okay. it was a special, special hundred dollar handshake he gave there. So, All right. um, yeah. Well, huge. thank you for that. Yeah, no D- doubt. DMT. Yeah, it's cool because the tractors pull off and the skiddies are working the the track. Yeah, simultaneously. Yep. So yeah. that's very cool. That's what we call a team effort. Team effort. Yep. Yep. Like Fatty stopping in real quick. That's a team, team effort. Team effort. Yep. Anthony was uh, hammering out. Josh were hammering out the uh, the live stuff tonight on Facebook. So, team effort. Yep, we appreciate of, them guys. A lot of guys are going all over the place in different derbies and stuff like that too. I know Decker's out running around, and uh, Anthony's going to some, and and that's that's awesome. Have we uh, have we uh, talked about Skinny at all? We've we've uh, talked about Skinny with Chris. We talked about Skinny before that, but by all means, please talk about uh, Skinny some more. You know, there's a lot of things. A lot of things that are going on out there, you know. Um, you know, there's 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 uh, apparel and and um, uh, tumblers and everything like that. With uh, some of the proceeds are going to help the Elzer family and stuff like that. So uh, Skinny has got a long road of recovery ahead of him. And I just he, ordered a shirt and hat. It really. That's, yep. uh, I, I hit up Josh and and uh, um, we've got some we got some tumblers that are coming to our place. Actually, uh, Jeff Christman, Big Daddy. Yep. Uh, BDR Racing. Uh, uh, he threw out. Uh, he threw out. He bought uh, ten hats. And he wants to give them away to the youth at a derby. And uh, Josh said he, he was what better place to do it than at the Minnesota Throwdown. Oh, sweet. So Jeff Christman out there, uh, thank you so much. He's always doing a ton of stuff in Demolition Derby World and just being one of those great givers. So uh, Now your youth thank class you. there is coming from Prusman's show, is that correct? Yeah, we've actually got okay. two. So we're going to have two youth classes out there. Right. So Jacob Prusman had that show that unfortunately got canceled this spring. And um, all these kids have built these uh, full-size cars, and there wasn't too many places to run full-size cars for youth. So Jacob reached out to uh, reached out to us, and he's like, "Hey, um, if you don't know who Jacob Prusman is, four four eight design, four four eight uh, promotions, one of our uh, massive sponsors. Yes, one of our sponsors. Uh, he is actually the sponsor of the drone, and um, we just unfortunately haven't been able to do a whole lot of drone stuff because of the the wind and stuff like that. And that sun is just sinking. Yeah. God, look at that. Gorgeous. Thing. That's beautiful 
Um, it, you watch that, folks, just going down. That's our sunset over the hills over there, just a just a, a, a harvester sunset. Isn't that what they call that? Yeah, Full? absolutely. Yep, so, getting close. So, uh, But back to Jacob Prusman, we've got, uh, for the Minnesota Throwdown, we've got his youth class coming up there and running uh, Saturday night. And nice. we've got our youth class running also okay. um, on Friday night. And, and uh, that's going to be compact. So, so we've got full size and compacts, um, you know, running there at the throwdown for the, for the kids. And we got 10 hats coming that are going to be given out um, in, in honor of Skinny uh, from, from or, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> Where are you going I, with I, it? I, I just, I was just looking down and I seen Chad. Oh. And uh, I seen Chad and uh, I, I, I drew a blank there. So. So hat, um, hats for Skinny. Uh, no, nope, hats are for Brady down. Larson. I'm sorry, Brady Larson. Okay. Uh, the hats are in memory of him. Okay, so, all right. Um, the tumblers are for Skinny. So, gotcha. Uh, but, yeah, so so they said that uh, 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 BDR said, he goes, hey, I want to give these away to the kids and everything in memory of Brady Larson. So oh, that's, uh, awesome. that's coming out, you know, 110% right there. That's that's true way to live life. That's awesome. Man, wow, that's so cool. And just before that, we'll be in San Filippo. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Morris, New York. Looking forward to that show. It's always, always a good show. Hard hitting. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Scary hits. Some of them most definitely are. The breeze, dude. Yes. Thank you. It just came about. <laughs> well, the oh. sun's gone. But yeah. <laughs> it's not wow. pulling it with it anymore. The flags are flying again. Love it. You know, we're sitting here talking about all kinds of different stuff and everything like that. And it's like, hey, there's a great big show coming up that. Uh, we're, we're kind of teaming up with, and, and uh, it's, it's in November, and uh, it's the Gold Rush. Ooh, Gold Rush. The Gold Rush. Nice got, replays oh, Bill's got for yes. you there. So we've got that going there, and we are going to have some uh, some fun with the TSL crew out there at the Gold Rush, and uh, we're going to be out there. We're going to be partying and having a good time, and we want to have the, the, the family come out there in person and have a good time with us. There's going to be tons of more information coming about that, um, and just just wait. It's, it's going to be one of those, those – um, allied community things that is going to be a ton of fun uh-huh i'm gonna have to figure out when that is uh, it's uh november uh oh, see why do you do that it's all my notes are down below because i was talking with everybody uh, well, to get that's that just, stuff. I, I wasn't leading it, you into anything i said i need to figure out when uh, that is you could have just left it alone i know i, I gotta <laughs> i gotta i gotta look like a donkey you know i don't got that information in front of me you know Gold Rush Nationals. Oh, the Bobby Cam in that truck broke a broke a distributor. Ben Haas, miss you, brother. Yeah, the, no one doubt. Of the, one of the OG TSL brothers. You know, we haven't been able to see him hardly at all this November year. November 1st through the 4th in Rapid City, South Dakota. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they have, uh, if you guys are thinking about it, uh, actually, you shouldn't think about it. You should just go and see it in person. The facility is is absolutely top notch. I mean, other than one of the mega stadiums, it is it is in, in the top percent of of uh, stadiums and stuff like that. The facility is great. They got an airport right there in Rapid City. Um, it's a little bit smaller of an airport, so you know you might want to start looking at tickets and, and getting everything organized. Uh, hotels. There's still plenty of hotels out there, and don't be don't be shy to be part. That's of it. what I was gonna say. I haven't been online to check tickets lately, but I don't. Maybe it's sold out at this point. I have no idea. Yeah, you don't want to drag your feet on it. Like I say, you want to see it in person. There's no doubt about it. You want to see it in person. You want to be part of the track shot experience. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, look at those. Look at those instant replays right there. Bill's so just cool. right on top of stuff. I forgot my glasses, Mike. At some point, I'm going to have to go down, and get, go down and get my regular glasses or I can't yeah. read names. Well, I lost mine, mine are all sweaty, and they're falling apart. Oh, boy, me. jeepers. Jeez. One truck left to pull off. One truck, and then after the trucks, they are... They're drawing a raffle ticket right now. So I got 100 bucks worth in there, so I believe they're $10 a shot. I'm going to run and grab my glasses while All right, perfect. Where's that young man? Alex Hendricks is the winner of that van. Alex 
You guys, this, this minivan that they built here too, um, it is a top notch, I mean, it is a top notch built van. And so people ask us all the time, it's like, hey, how, uh, how can we, we, we want TSL at our show. How can we figure out how to get you guys there? Well, you know, there's a cost to get us there. There's no doubt about it. I mean, because, you know, we got to fly everybody in. We got to do our stuff. And um, so that's how they did it here in Mauston is they built that minivan and they sold tickets for it for the last month and a half. And that proceeds is what got Track Shot Live here. So with that situation, you guys are seeing us Track Shot Live because of that hard work of that donated van and uh, that brought us right here to, to Juneau County so you guys get to see this wonderful fairgrounds and see what it's all about. So now you can say, I know all about uh, Mauston, Wisconsin, because TSL was right there showing it off. And you guys look at that track. That track sucked up all that water that they put on it. They leveled that thing back out. I mean, not only did they get all the vehicles off, but they leveled it out, and now it's dry, and they got to put a grease of, of water on that thing. Again, I just I can't believe how much water this track is taking. Speaking of water. Yeah, thank you. I was getting purged watching Bill drink a Diet Dr. Pepper over there, and it's like, oh, thanks for thinking about us, Bill. Yeah, snacking, Dr. Pepper. Bill, how was that jerky I gave you? No, sorry, Bill. I don't want your Dr. Pepper. No, I got a water. Too that late. a shameless plug? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I tell you what, how long, how long, ooh, look at the jerky is over uh -huh. there. How long, how long is the, oh, them cars are ready to come out. I was going to say, it's that, you know, that Devil's Tower. I'd love to see that oh. after we talked about it, but um, those cars long. are going to be coming out in just a second yeah. here, Bill. Well, we'll uh, have about, a bunch of time to clean them off after after the heat's over. So, you know, and we have intermission, too. Yeah, we got intermission, and uh, um, one of those things that uh, that we'll probably uh, – probably end up doing during intermission is I'm going to probably jump on down because, you know, uh, uh, I was told yesterday that I didn't do my toast with the crowd. Oh, boy. Yeah. So somebody asked me that today. They said, hey, are you going to do your toast with the crowd? And it's just kind of something silly that we started doing that, uh, you know, we jump up and have a toast with the crowd. We thank them for spending their hard-earned money to come here and watch the Demolition Derby. And and uh, it's just kind of fun to Well, to it's good to things. get them involved. Oh, yeah. You absolutely. know, they want to feel like they're a part of something, too. So Yeah. It's real good to get them involved. So we asked uh, we asked a couple fair people to come on up here and talk. We're looking for interviewers, and everybody's saying no. 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 Nope. It's Don't like, do you want to you want to think about that, or do you want to just say no? Yeah. And they're like, no. 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 No again. No. And it's like, you know, Micah's intimidating. I get it, you know. And, and Yeah, but I'm in the low seat. Yeah, you Shouldn't are, that actually. bad, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've also asked a couple people, and they're like, meh, I don't know. Not really. Yeah. Not really feeling it. See, I was blocking the TSL. See how I moved over? Yep. I want you guys to see that because this, good. this uh, you know, um, Indy CNC shirt is loud. Right. You know, yeah. why do fat people wear loud shirts? I don't know. I, it's like, you know. <laughs> I got an Indy CNC shirt, uh, but it was a schmedium, as Bobby would say. And uh, <laughs> it's very form-fitting, and I'm not wearing it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you shop at Baby Gap. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh huh. I've never gotten a cannonball shirt, though. I will say that. No, me neither. Hmm. Me neither. Um, Interesting. You know, we totally, uh, totally wear that great stuff. That's. No, we got to show the track shots, sissy. I'm. I don't need to go over there. They don't. Yeah. Look at this. I'll go this yeah. way. Look at. This I'll is even better yet. It. There. This Nobody wants to yet. see Nobody us wants anyway. They want to see Derby. Like, Bam. Right yeah. there. That's where it is. That's all you need. You know, uh, Bill. That don't count. Yeah. Come on, Bill. We totally see the track shots on the <laughs> corner of it. We obviously we see that. Yeah. But, you know. Simple solutions. Robbie Critton down nine and a half, nine and three quarters. Uh, he's out there. He's, he's figuring out. I think he's going to be at Gold Rush. Oh, yeah. He was nice. kind of talking about. It. He's like, yeah, I want to figure this out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So do I. Sky high, smash it. Yeah. Smash it's got uh, big derby coming up there also. Hey, are uh, you going to read these four and six cylinders off? Or I'd love to. Here? I would love to. Well, unless you want to. No, you're the professional. Six twelve of Bryce Clark. The five of Tyler Newland. The 918 of Dave Maher. The K42, I believe. Damon Shinoski. The 89 of Jason Weber. The 3 of Rick Carter. The K71 of Dan Shinoski. The K72 of Drew Shinoski. The 15 of Chris Hurlitz. The 06 of Xavier Binger. The 26 of Cody Johnson. And the D1 of Dalton Lee. The 15 pulling on the track right there. That was last night's winner taking home the W. Here's what I will say. All but one car is from Wisconsin. That one other car is from Texas. 
Oh. So if Texas pulls this one off, Tix, it would be one for the ages. Yes, it would be. Now you guys got to remember last night, these guys put on one heck of a show. Yeah, they're bringing back some junk. Yeah, you know, so last night, uh, Jason Weber uh, in the 89 car, uh, he took a bad shot and wrecked his car, but now he came out with a fresh one here tonight. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what Jason Weber does. We need one of the big black fans from your shop. Yeah, no doubt. The PT Cruiser coming out there. Yep. Polar Bear's coming back out tonight with a front. Oh, no, there I see the back end. <laughs> <laughs> I can front only see the front half there. Front end's bit. fresh. Yep. Well, the passenger size is oh, up yeah. a little bit too, yeah, my goodness. Yeah, it is. Holy smokes. You know, last night it was really cool because if you look off over the pond, that's where the high school was, and they were playing Friday night football there last night. Yep. And we had got a couple pictures of them watching Friday night flights over there, but they had us, TSL, live on their phones. Absolutely. So they, they were did. getting the best of it. Yep. The other thing, last night we were putting sweatshirts on. Yeah. Tonight I'm thinking I'm jumping in the pool. Yeah. Well, I'm going to run on the track and just get hosed off after this, one of the two. Should dry pretty quick. Just getting the end of the track buttoned up and then we're gonna be live and underway. Looking for those green flags everywhere. Flags. Three, two, one, let's derby. Oh, the three-car Carter coming out hot and making a great shot on the front uh, passenger side tire there. Cruiser finally making it off the blocks. Wow, nice nose-to-nose -nose action right there. 42 comes in on the 89. Well, the 6-1-2 almost rolled over down here on the bottom wall ticks. What's your thoughts of having that cage come that high above the numbers? Well, you know, I mean, if you go rolling over, it's going to keep you from going on your lid or it's going to assist you, so... The number three right in front of us there giving us action. Start to finish here so far. We used to make them cut those off in case they came into another driver's window. Yeah, no, there is a level of dangerous at that also. Nice wheel shot by the 89 right there in the top of your screen. Oh, the bumper just came off. There's a bumper in the middle of the track. Yeah, there is. And they see it. Oh, the number five came into the 72 right at the end. I think he's on the ground. Yeah, it don't look good for here, does it? No. Oh, they're looking at a fire there. Yeah, they oh, are. Oh, there they go. They see the bumper. Teddy, one of the, one of the track officials there, he's uh, from over there in the... Is he a trempolo? He's a trempolo. He's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fun to hang out with. No doubt about it.
Well, we're going to make sure that fires out. No doubt about it. They're going to make a pool out of that car. Chief says we're good. Oh, maybe Lieutenant with a red helmet there. Captain. Chief's usually white helmet. There's the knowledge right there. There you go. A little bit. If you're ever on Jeopardy, you can say you know it now. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The 72 is not giving up. He's punched under, but he is still wanting to go. Oh, my word. We're just going to pack him into this corner down here. Oh, good hit wow. by the 15. Wow. Chris Hurlitz. Five car, Tyler Lewin in on Dalton Lee. And again, trying to go after that back tire. Wow, Dalton Lee is gonna lose that whole left side or right side of that car. Yeah, he is. Ooh, he pulled down in the back corner down there, though. A lot of wide open track, and then kind of noses into that corner where there's a couple cars already out. Twenty six was on the run from the number five, but it didn't matter because the five caught up to him. Look at that. And the five car laying down more hits, ticks. Yeah, he is. Tyler Newland out of Casanova, Wisconsin. Is just getting after it. Maybe going for that mad dog. Yeah, the zero one one got out of that, or D1 got out of that corner. That's awesome. He's got a lot of car left. Oh! Oh my God, I think he's got his fuel cells. Yeah. His fuel cells all loose in his car. Yeah, he wants attention. Yeah, I saw him pick it up and move it. Yeah, he's jumping out. There's something that's not safe. Yep. Loose fuel cell there, so we got to take him down. Got to take him down, John says. He had a lot of car left there, and he was putting on a go sh good show, the 612. Yep. 612 of Bryce Clark out of Mauston, Wisconsin, ends his night early, unfortunately. All right, we'll get the track cleared and get it restarted real quick. Officials. Looks like the D1 broke off also. Yep, saw that. Looks like we're down to the top five here in a quick hurry. And the cruiser's not going anywhere fast. No. That's for sure. But he's not giving up. Nope.
26 finally catches up to the 89. He gets a good shot on, turns him sideways, and then receives one from Tyler Newland. The back end on Tyler looks great. Yes, it does. He needs to does. start using that at some point, I would think. Uh-oh. Leo comes on the track with a paint can. He's no Jason Sauer, but he's going to lay down some pink yep. paint. He's laying down some marks. That is for team driving right there, you guys. They talked to him about it in the driver's meeting, yep. about that team driving. Team driving sandbagging. Yes. Were the criteria there. Three of them getting marked. Yep. That is a great call. Mm -hmm. That is a great call. And that officials. And in three, two, two one, one, let's three, derby. Three Bummer in the 26 is not starting. Nope, not at all. It's Cody Johnson in that 26 car that just can't seem to get it fired. Six breaks off in fourth place there. I think that last shot when he got sandwiched in there did plenty of damage to him, you know? Yep, I just believe a, so. Just a minute too late on calling that team driving, unfortunately. Oh, there's a great hit out of the five. And the 15 follows him in. And the 89 is now not running. Down to the 5 and 15 at this point, Tyler Newland and Chris Hurlitz. Hurlitz, a hometown boy, Mostyn, looking to bring the W here. Hopefully these guys get some separation and end it right. That's the 89, Jason Weber in third place. back up you see on his sticker got a Jeffy Fab farm on the side of his door wrap yes, one of our sir. great TSL sponsors one of the most consumable parts on a Camry is that header 
<laughs> 15 finds it. Oh, and takes a good lick. I don't know, I like Tyler Newland for the uh, Mad Dog if... Yeah. He had a good going on there. Hold on a second, Mike. Oh. You need an announcement? Guy in the black shirt. Uh, right next to him, the guy in the black shirt, right next to him. Taking care of a little business with the local PD here, yep. folks. The five shut everything off, and he's waving off. Yep, he's done. There it is. Back-to-back -back nights for number 15, taking home the W. Chris Hurlitz out of Mauston, Wisconsin. Your runner-up is number five, Tyler Newland. And your champ tonight in the four and six-cylinder class is number 15. Chris Hurlitz. What a great run out of Chris. Yeah. Jason Weber jumping out of there, the number 89. He's uh, had bad luck yesterday and today. Giving the big announcement out there, letting them know what, what needs to happen for the local PD. That's right. All right, I'm going to go see if I can get a few words out of our champ, Chris. Out Probably here. a parking violation. Yep, you're illegally parked. Yeah, go live here. Let's hear uh, John is going to, you're going to get the, the uh, interview, on track interview. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. He said, I'm no fatty, but I'll do a good job. Chris, yeah. they weren't going to give it to you. You had to earn that one tonight, buddy. <laughs> I tell you what, it was looking grim in a few spots there, but she got back up and running there. So uh, what would you think of tonight's run and these drivers out here with you? These are a heck of a bunch here. They put on a hell of a show. Uh, you got to have a few people that you want to thank that helped you do all this. Same as last night. These guys in the middle, can't do it without them. Uh, I tell you what, you gave a great show. Doesn't look like it's too much uh, to put back together here and get things on the road. What are you thinking? We'll have to take a look at it. It's got really hot, so it's got five runs on it, so it's about time to give up. <laughs> uh, rebuild, never give up. I tell you what, great job tonight, Chris. We're going to let him celebrate that win, get this track cleared out. I did find out, though, that we need to draw another raffle winner because uh, I heard that he called in and said that he's, he's not going to be able to make it, so we're going to draw a new winner here. All right, we got another chance to win that van. Boy. We gotta listen to that, Bill. Oh, he's getting the bucket. Where's my helper that helped me out just a little bit ago with the bibs and the ponytail? She down here? No? She left? All right, I'm gonna need a. Uh, let's get another, another kid to come down here, right here in the front. She looks like she's right here. You wanna come give me a hand and help us pick a winner? What's your name? Well, Emily, do you have a favorite derby driver out here? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Is this your first <laughs> she don't know. derby or have you been to these before? Uh, I've been to these before. Okay. <laughs> well, you want to help us pick a winner tonight? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to hold that bin. I want you to close your eyes and put your hand in there and grab one ticket out of there. All right. It was a quick grab. Andrew Schaff. Andrew Schaff. Ha ha. Oh boy. Andrew Schaff won it. And there you go, a little treat. Thank you so much, Emily, for all your help up here. Andrew, Andrew Schaff. Andrew Schaff, are you ready to drive? Where is he? I'll tell you guys what, if you do not well, know who Andrew, Andrew Schaff is, he is a driver. Have you driven before? Yeah. He is a driver. Not a van. Not a van? This is going to be a new experience for you? Yeah. Well, you're going to show them how it's all done. you got five guys that you need to take out. One guy, and you're already in the money. So it's a win-win, but you're already ahead because we picked your ticket. So. All right, let's let her rip. 
All right. Well, we're going to get you back there and get them all prepped up. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. We were joking on the track. I said that if I won that van, I said I'd probably give it to Andy because he's not running here this year in uh, U8. He is a wide open driver, and I have been begging him to come to other shows to show show off. Uh, him and his daughter are both showmen and showgirl. I mean, they're awesome. That's fantastic. Now we get that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So cool. Hey, Bill, while they're cleaning this thing off, I heard about this awesome video you got that's got some beautiful country scenery in it. Um, I don't know if it would be possible to take a look at that. Wow. I don't know. Let's see how quick Bill can pull this up. Let's do it, Bill. Are we ready? How sweet was that, Micah? So sweet. Man, I have Beautiful. never, I, like I said, you said we've been close to it, but never actually yep. went and seen it. Um, you know, we talk about Demolition Derby, you know, 101, destinations, all that good fun stuff. Seriously, make that travel. Do something like that. Make a list of things that you want to see and make sure that Demolition Derby is number one on the list. Yeah, make a week out of it. Yeah. Um, you know what? We gotta we gotta talk about something else here. That uh, we got a nice little video, nice little memorial video for uh, uh, Brady Larson. Um, you know, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard and seen all about it and everything like that. A tragic accident took him way too soon in life from us. Uh, he was part of the original ass kickers out there, uh, national level team, uh, North Dakota boys. They they uh, they lost a good one there. Um, you know, we've got uh, we got all kinds of great stuff going on. Uh, you got you got Jeremy Gross that's uh, um, you know doing the hats and everything like that for Memorial, and uh, some of the money is going to the, the the proceeds are going to the family and in that um, you know you guys take a look at this thing and you know call your Derby family and let them know how much you love them and and uh, what the Derby family means because you never know if it's the last time you're going to be able to talk to them and uh, this is just proof in itself right here. Yeah, and that's right. We got to give a huge shout out and thank you to Derby Tees for putting this together and allowing us to send it out over the airwaves because yeah. uh, they did an incredible job with this and we're so thankful uh, for incredible, the opportunity. Incredible is an understatement. Yes, uh, yes. You know, they had some of the best footage and everything like that. They put it together. They wasted zero time. So, uh, you know, please get on there, share it and like it, and give them credit for it, please. Absolutely. Ready when you are. All right, so just say your name first. Brady Larson. Awesome, okay. Where's our fourth guy? Who are we waiting on? He's, he's signing autographs and kissing babies. He's a young one. Yeah, I get it, Brady. Lots of help from all my buddies. 
Change the training out in a couple hours and we were good to go again, you know, kind of think back, it's like, you're kind of, you're overwhelmed at first and then you, all the guys are there to help you and it's, it's great. Oh, front, front tires laid over. Come down to you and Corey Ludington from Show Me Sliders. What was going through your head? Just had to knock some tires off. Do something to get the big boy out, That's right? That's going to be it. of Larson. Who helped you out this weekend? Who made it all possible? Well, I got a huge shout out to my dad. He's always there. Um, my buddy Tanner, and obviously my family, my girlfriend. And there's a lot of names, but they were the big ones, I guess. It's all downhill from here. I know it. I always wanted, like I said last year in the interview, I wanted to win a big money show. That was it. I couldn't quit Derby until I win a big money show. And uh, after I did that, I guess like I told my dad and I told everyone else, I said it. At this point, if I'm not having fun, I guess I'll quit tomorrow. But uh, we're still having fun, so that's why we came back up. Right there it is. That's uh, Live Life 110%. You know, that man, uh, he had fun. Yeah. He was a hell of a competitor and just a, just a great person all the way around. Uh, had, you know, all that building cars with his father and, and uh, all the friends out there and everything like that. It's, that is a tragic, tragic loss. Yeah, they're all hard, but uh, this one's fresh, and it's uh, very, very difficult. I know a lot of people are hurting because of this. Um, and we would just again, we want to thank Derby Tees for giving us that video yeah. footage that we could run that for, for the family. And we're so very thankful for that. And you can see, you can grab that video from Derby Tees right there. It's on Facebook. And, uh, you know, they've got that out there. You can save it, share it, like it, love it, and, uh, you know, give them credit for it because uh, that was some amazing footage. And, you know, Buddy Hess, you know, one of the best announcers out there, you know, having, uh, having the fun with those guys and everything like that and just, just uh, you know, putting putting words into action. Yep, that's right, Mike. Man, tough one. Yeah. You know, you sit there and and, and they never get easier. They, you know, it's it's uh, but you know, when you have the Derby family, you know, we're spread all across the country and stuff like that. It just, uh, you know, it's uh, you know, my my dad said one time, you know, it's uh, you know, with knowing as many people as you do, you know, death is more uh, more uh, common. Yep. And it's like, yeah, you know, I guess if you only if you're only friends with five people, you're not going to see it that often. You know, when you have a family and in the derby world and the friends like that, and it's just endless amounts of people, it's it's going to be out there. But they never get easy. No, they don't. It's only amplified with social media now. Yeah. You know, you see a lot more of these people a lot more often. It used to be you went to a derby to check in to see how everybody was doing over the last year or so. You know, now it's. You're so familiar with everybody. Yeah, it's it's the common thing, you know. It, it truly is. It's just that common thing where it's everybody's together and, and doing stuff. And and uh, you know, I made that comment to uh, you know a couple guys here that you know that uh, you know they had they had kids this this summer and and it's like I know it's like you know everybody and you're you're up to date with everybody. But the problem of it is, it's like you, you just really aren't. It's not that in person hug or handshake or anything like that. That's right. So. You and know. oftentimes when we're out and about, it's business, it's work. Yeah. So it's really not even time to catch up then. No, no doubt so. about it. No doubt about it. But you know what? It's still Destination Derby. Look at that haze over there where that sunset, yeah. where it's got kind of that illumination through the clouds. Yep. It's got the hills on the backside. It's, that's pretty awesome. That moon's just uh, a nice little picturesque moon yeah. tonight, too. Yeah. So. You know, not a whole lot, but that little sliver just says yep. that I'm coming back around. <laughs> You know, and then, I, you know, one of the other things that was really neat is you guys went and did the monster truck ride yesterday. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean. Oh, yeah. Did you, you try talking him into driving it? He said, you should let me drive this thing. 
Wasn't happening. Oh, look at that moon, you guys. Just a nice little sliver out there. Me driving that thing was not happening. No? No, he was not going for that. Wow, you should have told him. It's like, we're going to make you famous. <laughs> he knew. He was yeah. already famous, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was a little more famouser than me. Yeah, you yeah. think so? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, I found out tonight I've got two fans. Did you really? Yep. All right, who are Rod they? and Chris. Rod, all right, yep. all right. They're my two fans. Yeah, well, you know, yep. your standards are there, so you got it all going on. I'm super excited. Yeah. That's perfect. Yep. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've always said I don't do this for me. I do this for the people on the track. Yeah, no, so, no doubt about it. You know, this isn't about Micah. It's about everybody that's out there putting on a show for our fans at home. You know what? So we had a little bit of time here today. We got up and got going this morning and everything. And uh, um, what uh, that bar that we went to, what was the name of that lake that we were on? Uh, the lake was uh, Castle Rock Lake. Yes, I, I could, south yeah. of Pete and Well on the Wisconsin River. Yeah, Castle Rock Lake. Yep. We stopped at the um, the, the Pine. Uh, Pine Lodge. Pine Lodge. Yep. Uh, they have a smash burger oh, there. Oh, my word. That was, that was dynamite. Oh, it was Absolute so good. Dynamite. I didn't realize that the original was a double. Yeah. I'm like, it came out, I'm like, holy smokes, I'm not ready for all this. Yeah, no, I, that was like food coma. Yeah. So uh, uh, we had a, they, they make a homemade Bloody Mary there, so we had a, had a Bloody Mary. That was that was really good. They had spicy and non-spicy. Um, our waitress, we never got her name, but she nope. was an absolute peach. She was yes, so she much was. fun. Um, and dimples. Know, dimples, yeah. We, <laughs> we just worked to see her dimples. That's what we wanted to see, and, and uh, we, we, we succeeded. So um, you guys went out on the patio. Bill and I sat down and talked business. You guys are out enjoying yourself, and, and Bill, he's, he's like, we need to talk about something. You know, It's like, all right, it's so the next thing we're talking about stuff, and it's like, uh, can we go out on the patio and like enjoy the patio like everybody else? <laughs> Bill's like, no, we're going to talk about something. We need to get a flight. Or we got to do this. We got to do that and everything yep. like that. And uh, so, yeah, next thing you know, we got uh, Bill's flight and everything taken care of for Stoneboro. He's uh, you know, super excited to be going back to, to PA there, to Stoneboro. And uh, that's going to be over Labor Day weekend. Trash yeah. Shot Live is going to be there. Mike is going to be My there. My first time to Stoneboro. Yeah. I'm excited, man. Yeah. Uh, I've never actually made it there. Yeah. Never made it there. So it's unfortunately I don't get to make it there. We got other stuff going on, prior obligations that we got to get taken care of. Uh, we're running out of running out of summer in Minnesota, and Texas yeah. got stuff that's got to get done. Got some stuff so, to do, don't you? Um, it, number one is I uh, we we got a derby we got to get ready for, and we just got done with the derby. We got to clean up the yard, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and hang out with the MWFA. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be sick out there. That's so. gonna be so fun, yeah. man. And then we got Frizzy coming. Yeah, I mean, there's that's gonna be like true. Yeah. you know, shell shock talent out there for yes. that one. So, yes, yes. Um, I believe Decker's gonna be running a car out there, and I know Fatty's coming on up. And yep. uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna Anthony's be wild. Anthony's talking you know. about coming, maybe. Oh, is he? Yeah, I that's what I, I heard. I didn't hear that one. Yep. Yeah, I didn't hear that, but. Um, so if he doesn't show up and you guys are upset, that's Micah telling you rumors. Yeah. Spreading the rumor mill, yeah. baby. Yeah. There it is. Um, so, yeah, so we got Stoneboro coming up. So, yeah, Bill and I were sitting down talking about some of that stuff, and, and uh, him and Sissy got some more travels that they're going to do to come see some more of the world and in Destination 101. And, um, you know, and I told Bill, I said, yeah, Bill, I'm super sorry, but uh, I would rather have your son at the throwdown than Sissy. So and Bill, like, looked at me. He's like, are you serious? <laughs> so, yeah, so that was kind of one of those situations. And, uh, yeah, jump on in, brother. Get on in here. So, no, I'm giving you crap. Sissy's busy, but we are we are going to gonna be able to have Sequoia up there and do some great stuff. And so business got over with. You know, I was more just trying to get Anthony to come, Tix. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't me, like, saying he's going to be there. I, you know, it's an open invitation for Anthony there. Oh, that's what it is. That's mm. what it is. Well, hey, we got somebody sitting here next to us. I, I, if I remember right, I, I think we're looking at a two-time, two-time winner here. Whoa. Yeah. How's that feel? Feels pretty goddamn good to be yeah. honest with you. Awesome. Uh, you know what? Last night, you know, you had a couple kind of situations where the car was kind of. Well, actually, who do we got sitting yeah. with us? I'm sorry, we didn't even get the introduction properly. <laughs> this is where you say who you are. This is Chris. <laughs> Chris Hurlitz. I'm from Austin here. Driving the number 15 car. He's back-to-back -back winners here, you guys. So last night we were sitting there watching, and you kind of had a little dead spot out there where the car kind of kind of choked out on you a little bit and shut down and, and uh, didn't fire back up. I mean, what were your thoughts at that point? Uh, I figured it was over. It got pretty hot. Uh, smoking, I figured. I didn't. Uh, power steering went on, so I figured for sure I blew a belt. <clears throat> 
But, you know, the thing fired back up, and it gave you just enough love to take that W home. And, I mean, you guys put on a hell of a show for that crowd last night. It was a great show. Even better one, I think, tonight. Yeah, yeah I believe it. I, I, uh, last night was wild. Yeah. Last night was wild. So, uh, tonight, you guys went out there. You guys had a good group of guys working together. They threw some X's on your guys' car at the end. You know, what, uh, you know, what were your thoughts when you got those X's thrown on the car? Well, I knew we had to mix it up sooner or later. Just trying to take out the weakest link, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, in the pecking order, you can see where it came through and everything like that. I mean, you know, I'll give you guys a ton of credit. Uh, you guys weren't holding or anything like that. You just weren't sharing hits back and forth to one another. So, I mean, you gave a good, clean, honest effort at it, and you gave them the time to wheel. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you guys, you, you got back-to-back -back Ws here and everything like that. This is your great chance on Track Shot Live. We're right here in Mauston and in, in Juneau County. Who do you want to give a thanks to out there? This is your great chance. Uh, my family, for sure. I've been doing this for 22 years. Um, I couldn't do it without them. <clears throat> Where are you headed to next? You know, I don't know. I've really slowed down in the few, last few years. We used to run about five shows a year. And uh, just getting to be with my family and stuff, it's about one time. I don't know. I've been, you know, to be honest with you, I had an invite last year from you. Yes, you did. To come to uh, Throwdown. So, I don't know. You're coming up there to help us break the record, aren't you? I might come if I can All get a right. car. If I can get a car, maybe I'll take it there. You know what? The thing of it is, is I got to meet you guys and really get to know Jason and you last year and everything like that. You guys are uh, you guys are awesome guys. I mean, you didn't know me from Adam, and I came into your pits. We were looking at your cars and BSing and everything yeah. like that, just having simple, simple, simple conversation. And, uh, uh, you know, you guys were welcome, and we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Well, here, Michael, let's uh, let's rattle off these vans as they're pulling in. Yeah, the 22 of Keegan Smith out of Austin, the 50 of Andy Rick out of Waniwak. Waniwak. I'm from Wisconsin. I've never even heard of that place. Oh, small town. Small the, eight, town. the 18 of Dan Fry out of Elroy, the T16 of Thomas Winker out of Austin, last night's winner, the 98 P Chris Palesic out of Baraboo, and the raffle van is... Andy Sh uh, Schaaf. Or Sh Andy Schaaf. Schaaf. Andy Schaaf. I, it was funny. We were standing out on the track, and I was joking with, with, uh, with uh, John. I told him, I said, if I win that raffle van, I'm going to go give it to Andy because, you know what, missing him on this track this year, people who don't know who he is, he is always a showsman out there. Him and his, his daughter, they always put on a hell of a show, and he will wreck every piece of that car yep. to give the crowd entertainment. Yes, he does. You know, so... But, no, that's, uh, you know, talking about the throwdown, we would absolutely love for you to come on up. I mean, you know, and uh, it's, it's kind of one of those things that as we sit there and talk about it, you know, you said about your family. Well, it is a family entertainment position up there. I mean, the families are, are, are just as welcome as the drivers. Now, do you know who built the raffle van by chance? Uh, yeah, a few guys from the Matthew Selvage, the local junkyard here. Okay. Big shout-out to them. I know they're one of the sponsors here of the Demolition Derby at the Juneau County Fair. So now, it, this is technically your hometown track, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I actually grew up a half hour away from here in Hillsboro. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, 10 years ago, I moved up here to Moss, and then we've been running this show. Uh, well, uh, this is my actually fourth win here. Me and my brothers, we've actually dominated this show for the last few years. So. I was going to say, you guys have always been the leading edge. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about it. Um, so I got a question. When did that storm come through here and wreck the grounds and take down the old covered grandstands? How long ago was that? Well, that just two years ago, right? That's it. Yeah. I thought it was three, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, so we were talking about it and just saying about how cool that old covered grandstand was. I mean, that was an iconic piece of, uh, of area here. Yeah, yeah, definitely kept a lot of shade. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I heard some people earlier saying they they wished it was still here. Yeah, no doubt about it. No Chris Pelisex got our bobby cam tonight. Oh, there it is. He was up yeah. here earlier, you guys. You've seen an interview with Chris. Well, like I say, if you got any more shout-outs, this is your great chance. I mean, the family, that's, I'm inviting you and the family to the throwdown. Um, I mean, it would be great to see you guys, bring your brother, bring everybody up, and uh, we'd love for you guys to come up, have some fun, and uh, try to be part of that uh, that world record and try to take that $10,000 home. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, and that's, uh, that, that's, that's coming up. That's right around the corner, so... But your car's not in that bad of shape. I think uh, I think that thing would do just fine there too. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. We'll get it back home, we'll get it in the shop, see, yeah. what it, see what it needs. 
I love it how John just gets wild and gets the crowd yep. into it. And it's like, let's just keep this thing going. We're going to wreck some more cars. Yeah. We ain't wasting time. And it is green go. flag, and here it is. Track shot live van, the raffle van making a shot on Chris Pelesic. Winker does also. Chris got a new helmet for the van class tonight. And so far it's staying on, so we're happy to see that for him. 22's already broke off, that's Keegan Smith. Comes Andy right in on it. Oh! Somebody lost a bumper there, it looks like, Tix. Oh, that looks like you might be off the raffle van. Yep. Oh, oh and he breaks bummer. off. Oh, my word. Did not expect that. No. You see, he jumps out. He just shrugs his shoulders. Yep. Like, I don't know. Yep. I like my 400 horse. Chris, you ever been in one of these vans? Oh uh, yeah, one year actually, Matthews they uh, put on a, a show on a Sunday. Believe it or not, my first fan, and uh, I actually got down to second. And it's all, it was a great time, too, because everything was free. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And that's the, that's the best one right there. My very first time in a van in a derby was free also, all thanks to this guy. <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to be in it. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of fun when you get out there and it's like, you know, as you do competitive demolition derby and then all of a sudden you get out in something that you really don't care about, wreck, win, lose, or other, and you just jump out with a smile. I mean, I just made that comment and I just looked over and you're smiling at it yeah. before I was even done making the comment. So, folks, I mean, this is an introductory level right here. You don't have to hardly do anything to these things to come on out here and be competitive and have fun. Um, you know, we, we had a raffle car last week win at Dakota County. Yes. A veteran went a out Marine. there and won. A Marine won in a raffle car that we did. So he had pushed one of the buttons for traction control, and then all of a sudden the car is just out there just limping around in traction control. We had a red flag. I went out and I told him, I said, hey, I said, if you push this button here, I said, nice shot oh, right there. Oh, very good by Winker. I told him, I said, if you push this button, you'll be able to go wide open. I said, or if you leave this button pushed, I said, I think you might win this thing. He goes, I'm going to go for the win. <laughs> so he went for the win, and he won it. It was just absolutely great, and it was his 50th birthday this week, too. So That's cool. Awesome. You know, There goes Thomas coming in. Yeah, he is. Wow, he's nice getting, shot. He's getting after Chris. I think he wanted the bobby cam. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a – well, at least Chris hasn't lost his helmet this time. That's right. We're happy to see him running the the full time here tonight as much as he can. Oh, looks like Thomas died out there. He's got a he's, minute. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Got her fired back up. So let's talk about Matthew Salvage just a tiny little bit. Um, you know, they are a huge sponsor out here. They do a ton for this fair. You know, you know more about their business than we do. Let's tell, talk a little bit about them, Chris, if you wouldn't mind, please. You know, actually, uh, I don't really know them all that great. Um, the last 10 years, I've gotten actually a little closer with a bunch of them. Um, they are very nice people for sure. They would give the shirt off their backs. And so now, is it is it a big family, or is I mean, because there's a ton of people that work out of that shop. A ton right? of people, a ton of people. A lot of these guys in the full-size cars actually work there. So a lot of them are employees. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, because I've seen, you know, they got, I don't know how many rollbacks here. Yeah. The, I, yeah. They're always, like I said, they're always lending a hand anywhere they need. 
you know, for all the years that I've been coming here and everything like that, their name is always just a prominent, you know, sponsor here, and they always have been. And I've only had the opportunity to talk to a couple of them. Uh, you know, never really got the great opportunity to, to get to know them or, and see exactly what's what. All right, they're, they're kind of whittling this down here just a little bit. They're checking on Chris's van here to see if he's got an issue. He's all the way down on the left-hand side of your screen there. His driver's door's got to be about into his hip. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I, I see that now. But they're looking on the passenger side. I don't know if they saw something floating around in there they didn't like, maybe a battery loose or something. Sometimes it's marbles. Yeah, well. I, I got to reach over and grab those and put those back. Hey, those are important. I'm going to put those in my pocket. We're going to keep those for later to get back into position. That's right. Well, if you get out here, you can't have too many marbles in your head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's why they're so important because there yeah. ain't too many left. Right. There's not too many you left. Keep so. the ones you have. <laughs> like, ooh, that's an important one. I'm going to keep yeah. that one. That's the one that remembers my birthday. <laughs> Wife and kids. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, that's my birthday. I want that one. <laughs> Wife and kids, yeah, they're, they're out. They're out. I'm willing to lose them once. I'm kidding, family. I love you guys. This Chris up here telling everybody how great his family is and Tix is slamming his to the ground. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, your cheering section in the middle, every night you've got out there and you said, that crowd in the middle, that's who I want to thank. And it's like, I, I got goosebumps, you know. And, yeah. you, you know, it's like when you say that, um, you know, because so many people, it's like they don't understand the sacrifice that the family truly does, you know, uh, uh, give up for us to do this sport that we love. They left Chris in there, and then he breaks his stick off. So Chris is done. Looks like he's going out in fourth place. Yep, Bobby Cam, a van is done for the night, folks. But a great run out of Chris. Good to see him get into the money a little bit. Fourth place is going to go to 98. Super great follower of Traction yes. Live, him and his family. Massive. Boy, that rear end of Thomas's van is looking good. It's going up over the axle. It's not getting into the tires. He's moving around real good. Yes, he is. And that is a uh, rotten video, right, uh, Micah? Rot rotten Motorsports. Rotten, rotten Motorsports. Motorsports. Rotten yep. Motorsports. On YouTube. I went and gave them a su subscribe. They've got cameras all over the track. Thomas looking to double up also. Well, let's not jinx them. That's like a Jason Sauer jinx right there. As soon as he compliments somebody, the next thing oh, you know, they're out. Well, don't, don't be that person. He's not here, so. Huge shout out to MWFA Jason Sauer. He's out doing all kinds of fun things in Demolition Derby World and tagging up the world. We're going to. Plastic. Plastic rocker yep. panel. Yep. Swing and a miss by the 18. I can hear the fans through my headset, Mike. They're yeah. getting uh, they're getting they're, a little anxious. Yes, they are, to say the least. I'm gonna tell you what, as as you folks at home watch these guys try to back up in these vans and greasy tracks, these are front wheel drive vehicles. I want you to go try driving in reverse once. You know, it's 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 a totally different atmosphere, isn't it, Chris? Yes, it is. Very greasy. And you get into that position where, like, you a tiny little bit of steer can be oversteer in a heartbeat. Well, should be pretty good at driving in Wisconsin then. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> nice shot right in the middle of your screen there. All three of them coming together. Thomas is playing it smart, kind of staying away from those front bumpers right there a little bit. Yeah, he is. Nice tire shot right there.
The 18 of Dan Fry, the 50 of Andy Rick, and the T16 of Thomas Wink are all still in Swing it. Swing and a miss. What that block ever do to 18, I wonder. <laughs> Put a hurting on the front end is what yeah. it did to it. Yes, it did. <laughs> wow, oh, nice Thomas shot. took advantage of that, didn't he? Nice shot on that wheel. Very smart driving there. And the 50 stalled out. Oh, Thomas is in a bad spot, though. Get out of there. That track's a little soft right there. 18 seen it, was trying to capitalize. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, here's something grinding in the head. Yeah. What is that? That's know. the 50. That's uh, something wrong. Yes. Yes. Something that does not sound good at all. They grind them in the factory. Yeah. So, Chris, was that the factory motor and everything in that car, or did you switch that one out? Uh, it's actually a factory motor, but I did switch it. Okay. It's got five, about five runs on it now. Anything done to it? Nope. Nope. This, you know, I bought the car, and it seemed to run good. So uh, I've just been holding on to it. it. Hasn't failed me yet. Nice. Third place goes to Andy Rick in the 50 out of Waniwak, Wisconsin. Waniwak. I'm happy you got the chance to botch that one up. I looked at it when you showed it over. He's like, how the heck do you say that yeah. town? Yeah, that's actually only about a half mile, or I mean, uh, about 30 minutes over the hills. Huh. Small town. What's there to do in Waniwak? Oh, uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> Go to church or go to the bar? Uh, yeah, I think uh, they've got four bars there, so yeah, I guess go to church and then why not get a drink afterwards? And there is nothing wrong with that at times. I'll tell you what, if you guys don't know, the, the most important thing about Wisconsin is you don't have to drive far to find a local establishment to have communication at. That's right. All the officials out, telling them to back it up. Uh oh. Did Thomas just lose transmission? I think so. Yep. Thomas says, bring it on. Oh. Nice hit. Yeah, it was a very nice good hit. hit. And Thomas is going to break off in there second place. Thomas Winker taking second. Dan Fry in the 18 out of Elroy, Wisconsin, coming away with the win tonight on the last night of the Juneau County Fair. You know, for not that many vans out there, they put on a darn good show. They sure did. You know, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, it wasn't a disappointment by no means. Mike, we got the full size coming up next. We do. We do. How many are in the full size? Uh, Ten of them? Well, I'm not quite sure because I heard three got loaded. So I don't know if this list is including them or not. Gotcha. I got nine on my list. We'll okay. just have to check when they come out here and see what's what's up. You know, Chris, let's talk about inspection, actually. We got you here. You know, it's uh, uh, you know, we sit there and we talk about it, about, uh, you know, people making a travel and coming over here to Juneau County, over to Austin to run a derby. Um, you know, we sat there and we looked at the inspection, and, you know, they had some new people, some new fresh blood in the in the inspection line and stuff like that. Um, I mean, is it, it? did you think it was fair? Did you think it was good? Did you, I mean, what's your, what's your thoughts on the inspection? A uh, fairly fair show, you know. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to build a decent car here. There's a few rules, you know, maybe could change, but overall, pretty good build. 
you know, and that's the thing, you know, it's like as you sit there and you look at it, like you said, it's a pretty simple build. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take much. I mean, there's not a lot of big gray areas to, to where you can play in. No, no. And it weeds out a lot of the, uh, you know, plate into the firewall and stuff like that. It will also talk about plate into the firewall. What's that actually entail for the people that don't quite understand what on a compact car what you're doing? Well, you're keeping the frame rails straight so you can keep the wheels underneath. You know, because you got the K-member underneath them that want to blow out of those things, and it's, you know, to, how to tie them up in and, and keep them in the position where they belong, and that's, you know, it's all that stuff, and you use those plates that uh, you're allowed, you know, per the rules. Um, you know, he's not talking about doing something you're not supposed to do to it. It's just, you know, it's what you're allowed, and making sure the plates are in the right places. Yeah, yeah, you got to learn the cards, you know. And the only way to learn them is wreck them. You're right. They're the only way. You can read anything you want on the Internet, but I'll tell you what, you can. the best education is is the, the blood, sweat, and tears. Well, Mike, you know, you can't believe everything on the Internet. Really? <laughs> God, I, did, I didn't know that. Come on I, now. Jeez. Wait a minute. <laughs> My goodness. I thought Taylor Swift loved me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did she tell you that when you were backstage? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm the number one Swifty, you yeah. know what I mean? Had my bedazzled jeans on. I was out there enjoying life with, with Taylor Swift, no doubt about it. Oh, hell you know? yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, if your best friends can't pick on you, who the heck can, right? Right, right. I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's uh, it's crazy how that moon turned to a like a, an orange now all yeah. of a sudden. I just looked up and I seen that thing was crystal white there, you know, 30 minutes ago. Now it's it's uh, kind of got that. Maybe that's a Canadian I was, storm. I was just going to say the smoke out of Canada, I, I, maybe. I wonder. Yeah. You know, they said because that, that they were talking about the jet stream moving and, and sucking some of that down. I mean, yep. um, you know, our wind our wind does not change direction, but the upper streams could definitely be changing. Have Definitely. you been hit with that hard this year, Mike? We've had it actually really bad in Minnesota. Yeah. Really bad in Minnesota. Um, you know, they've actually had some, uh, you know, like, uh, 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 you know, try to limit your driving yep. and stuff like yep. that. Air, air quality. Yeah. yeah air, quality. air qualities. Um, and, yeah, it, it did. It got really bad there for – we had about two weeks of it. Yep. And there was, a, there was a point where, like, you went outside – and it smelled like campfire. Oh yeah, it yeah, was, for sure. We did. We couldn't open our windows. Oh really? No, no. Oh. It was. It's like, you know, you don't want all that coming in your house. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, it, when we turn on our air in the spring, yeah, we don't shut it off until we turn the heat back on. Um, you know, so uh, John Baird down there wearing the track shot yep. live shirt, giving heckling us a little bit. You know, uh, it's awesome to have a good announcer and have some <laughs> some some good fun with them and everything yeah, like that. It is. Good dude. He's fun to be around. No, oh, for sure. Absolutely. It's uh, him and his family. They do a ton for the Derby world. And, uh, you know, granted, I mean, we're, you know, we're partners in business and stuff like that. But when we came, we've been coming over here for a while and, and just having fun with the with the Moston Derby. And, and uh, you know, going into the beer gardens after we're talking to all you guys and stuff like that has just been, it's been a riot. I mean, you guys are very welcoming to us. I mean, you know, I mean, who who the heck are these two guys that come here jabbing on a microphone, you know, for us? Yeah. It's like, you know, can't you find a better, uh, you know, <laughs> cattle auctioneer to do this and then these two idiots from minnesota <laughs> oh, it makes it more entertaining <laughs> you know you know uh, i i had some some guys gave me crap earlier because i didn't go do my toast up in the grandstands like i did you know every year and uh this year i haven't done it and it's this is the last one coming up so you know we're gonna miss it again so we'll just do the toast in the beer gardens afterwards listening to the band you guys gonna stick around yeah that sounds good i'll probably drink a couple beers yeah a couple after another right yeah we had a couple fun ones. Uh, we were at the uh, Best Western. Uh, that's where we're staying, and then we went to the oh. lounge up there, and uh, we had some fun. I didn't, uh, Micah. Did you ever catch our, our bartender's name last night? I did not. I was shooting pool with John. Yeah, yeah. You guys were, you yeah, guys were hustling. We were that tear, tearing that table up, yeah. so to speak. Was that at the lounge? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we were there last night, and she, you know, she started throwing down pizzas for us at, at closing time. She's throwing pizzas down for us and everything like that. And we sat there and we had some fun with some truckers and just conversation. It was an absolute blast. What? We met uh, the ribeye lady. The ribeye lady, you know, 81 years old. Wow. Yep. She spent 14 hours on her feet here yesterday selling ribeye sandwiches. Yep. And it was it was super cool. But, yeah, she was an awesome gal. And, and uh, so we did a little, little commercial over there of her wagon and gave her credit. And, and uh, have you had one of those ribeye sandwiches? Uh, no, actually. Man, you got to hit one up. They're, yeah, hand cut. Hand cut. And they got uh, onion straws, like the thin cut onion rings. Oh. Uh, they were dynamite, absolutely dynamite. 
So, and, and that's coming from a fat guy. You know I know food, dude. <laughs> You know, you, I don't know. If you told me that something was good, I'd question it. would be like, what do you know about food? Did you get, you say you went to the lodge last night? Yeah. Did you eat there? Uh, well, just at the, the pizza. Oh. The oh, lounge. Oh, at the, the lounge. At the, I West, thought, at the Best West. Oh, okay. the, lo- oh the lodge. Yeah, no, the lodge. We heard that place is. Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. That's, huh. yeah, we did. We heard that because uh, we had said that before that we went to the lounge and somebody else said, oh, did you eat there? Yeah, so no, it's uh, yeah, that's on our list of, of another thing. All right, the lodge. What's the lodge known for? Steaks, steaks, prime very, rib, very good steaks. Okay, how late are they open? Yeah, you know, I'm not <laughs> even for sure, to be honest with you, <clears throat> but it's it, all um, homegrown meat from Elroy, Wisconsin. Here, oh wow, really perfect. That stuff is uh, when you get into those places, we were down in Texas. And we stopped at a place, and you know they they own the farm that raised the cattle, and it, it was it was crazy. So like, you know, there's times that they would run out of certain cuts, like yeah. oh nope, we're out uh, not till Monday or Tuesday, whatever it is. It's sure. like you know, and they let it age and do all that, and it was the best. And then all of a sudden, the the little old lady brings out this piece of pie, and she goes, oh, we're really known for our pie too. And it's like, man, I just killed like a 20 ounce ribeye, <laughs> and she brings out this pie. And it's like it, it's it's this whole. It was like like a quarter of a pie, and uh, it was uh, it was rhubarb caramel apple. Oh That's man! Good. And I'm like seriously. Uh, so like, you know, I haven't had good rhubarb since Grandma passed away. I mean, it's like I remember Grandma used to make you know rhubarb everything, cake, brownies, yep, everything, yep. you know. And uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just not a rhubarb fan. I've never had right. good. And she goes, just give it a shot. It's yeah. like all right. I hit that thing, and it's just like, yeah, uh, what, there's a million calories in it? So what? So what? You could, <laughs> I'm putting it. Yeah. You could add rhubarb here today with us, Tix. They got rhubarb right up there with the ice cream. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they got like eight or ten different flavors of pie up there. <laughs> how about how about going out to Mulbridge? Fatty and I going out to Mulbridge. We went through the rhubarb capital of the world. Oh, wow. All right. You think you'd see rhubarb, right? Yeah. In the middle of the park, here's a water trough, you know, like a like a 150-gallon water trough that's got like two rhubarb plants in it. That's it. That's it. I that got was... more than that in my garden. Well, the funny <laughs> thing is, Fatty and I said, hey, let's go pick up that tub and make the next town the rhubarb right? capital of something. <laughs> I'm going to put a sign in my garden when i get home i'm gonna be the capital of the world for rhubarb oh my god how cool would that look you know next thing you know you're the rhubarb capital and then tsl after the throwdown we're gonna have a world record we're gonna have some awesome stuff yep going on. absolutely and why you know, not and chris you're here to hear it all firsthand it's like yeah you know i was part of this yeah that's right <laughs> oh heck yeah i'm gonna tear up some of them fries when we get down here i know that much oh those were those were dynamite last night yeah. too actually everything that we've had here has been absolutely great really good. um the beer is cold as heck um the service is fast getting you another beer when you need one and then you go over to uh, at 10 o'clock 10 30 at night when everybody's shutting down there's a couple of those wagons are still open and last night they gave us a box of, of uh, fresh cut fries and you know like when you get to you know certain facilities all of a sudden the, the oil starts getting nasty and yep. tainted it's like everything here was just fresh and just crisp yep it was it was spot on so. i agree You know, how about a huge shout out once again to these operators? God, these guys they get them off the they get them off the track, they get it all graded. I mean, that track is re leveled 100. percent Yeah, and ready to go. You just got one more van to take off, and then we're going to get on with the final heat of the night. Yeah, you know, you get into some of those tracks that have a hard pan like this and that are not real leveled out. They pound your kidneys out your bottom side. <laughs> it's like you you just can't wait to get off that track because it just hurts so hard. You know, and them seats, you know, the seats get all wore out and crap like that. It's not like you're in a nice comfy seat or anything like that. And and uh, all of a sudden, it's just getting that crap beat out of you. Well, I've only had the pleasure of being in two derbies, but on a massive track and a super fast track. <laughs> you know, I think I've been at two of the best in the nation, in my opinion. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's. I, I joked about it one time. We were sitting there talking to some people. So when I ran, the first time I ran out at uh, Morris, New York, um, I think it was Mini Meltdown, and it's like I'm going out. So they give these flags away for Mad Dogs. So, Chris, you understand out there in New York, these guys these guys still eat, eat 
lead paint chips as appetizers. <laughs> I mean, these guys are crazy out there, and they are wide open. If they could get an extra 50 foot of a track run, they'll take it. So I take off in my pickup truck, and I'm like, I'm going to track shot this dude. I'm going for that mad dog flag. I want one so bad. It hurts. All of a sudden, I'm letting off the gas. I'm halfway down the track. I'm thinking I'm going so fast, I'm going to kill somebody. All of a sudden, somebody passes me on the right side <laughs> at like 100. I'm like, okay. Mad dogs out. <laughs> that, um, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. I do not have the kahunas to be a New York driver. So, oh, yeah. Um, but it, it was it was insane when that happened. It's just like just an instant downer. It's like, man, I suck at this. Yeah, it's like just go wide on your camera angle and just let them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like bumblebees. Yeah. It's a hornet's nest. I'll tell you what, that's one of those things. If you can ever make your way out to New York and see a show out there, there's a lot of great shows. Uh, have you ever been out to New York, like upstate New York or anything uh, to the hills? No, I haven't actually. I'll tell you what, you know, it's everybody thinks about New York as New York City, and right. it's just dirty. You get out there into the mountains, and you know how you guys have these beautiful hills here that are green and plush and everything like that? So now add add six, seven, eight hundred feet on top of them, and that's you're in the mountains, and they're all green and plush like this. I mean, you guys are in a beautiful part of Wisconsin over here. I mean, you got the hills, you got all the lakes, and there, there are rivers going through everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like now just add some elevation to it, and and uh, that's that's what it truly is out there. Yep. Big hill climbs out there. Yeah. Whew. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, and they do 100 around them and down yes. them, and it's yes. like huh. wide open. I yeah. could. So Decker was hauling. He had his truck and trailer with a van or a car on it or something, and I can't keep up to him, and he's going so fast. Yeah. You know, I'm like, jeepers, dude. Yeah. Oh, you know, they know the corners. I don't know the corners, yes. you know, so, yeah. All right, here we go, full size. There it is. Hey, if you got to get going, man, you feel free. I mean, we're keeping, we're All having right. fun. If you're enjoying it, you're yeah. enjoying it. But, I mean, it's, you know, thank you so much for coming yeah. up here, Thanks dude. Thanks for having me. Um, Appreciate it. I mean, it, it was. You guys put on a great show and everything like that. Uh, you know, it's 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 just awesome to, you know, have you guys come up here and talk a little bit and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, so we'll uh, at the beer gardens. I got the first beer, brother. All right. Hey, sounds good. Congratulations, Thanks buddy. Nice man. Meet you, man. Thank good you. job this weekend. There you go. Two time winner, man. He's uh, he's taking the W home from here with all the bragging rights and everything. Chris, appreciate it, brother. First car out, number 88, a Nick Winker out of New Lisbon, Wisconsin. Started. Perfect song for this. Yes, it is. You know what? I'll tell you what. As soon as Bill starts breaking all this stuff down, because we don't get to touch anything for quite some time. We get the right. one camera. Yep. We've been talking about those ribeye sandwiches again. Yeah, I'm walking over. I'm grabbing. Yeah, them getting those another ribeye. You know? Hopefully they're still open because they were closed last night when we got done. They, yeah, they were. That's why I said I was running. That was the joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you got it. Now I got you. <laughs> Number 68 coming on in. Bernie Vanderhoof out of Mauston, Wisconsin. How about this? I'll run with you. I, I can't keep up with you. I know that. <laughs> the XYZ of Mike Eden. This is the first year they let all threes in here. The number 10 of Chris Clements. So this used to be an 80s and newer class without 03s, and then they mixed it up this year. They brought in old iron and 03s mixed on in. And it was a fun show to watch last night. 62 yeah. of Travis Hancock out of Mauston. 77, Corey Liebersbush. Liebersbach. Liebersbach. I should be writing these names. David Stone in the eight car. The 76 of Dan Rodenschmidt. And the D76, Danny Rodenschmidt. So this list is correct, Mike Tix. We have we nine of them out there. 
This is the last heat of the night of the 2023 Juneau County Fair in Mostyn, Wisconsin. Woo -hoo! We'll go ahead and button up the I hope these boys let it eat. Yeah, let's see what happens with it. We gotta get the track buttoned up first. Let's go hop in that skiddy and push them blocks in for us. Yeah, let's get her done. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I botched it. It's Jeremy. I called him Josh again. Oh no. <laughs> Dag nabbit. <laughs> oh my God. Once again, we are not professionals. <laughs> Uh, you guys wow. have to understand, I graduated with Josh Gross from Rosemount, all right? So <laughs> that's why it's, but it, I just say it. Oh, man. We are not reading off of notes or anything no. like that. It's just, no. it's pure, pure yep. mistakes. So two nights in a row, there we go. Oh, man. At least I was perfect, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this, everybody is my, this is why Tix usually looks to me for the names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So right there, you guys, get on there and see Jeremy Gross. Get on there and, and see what he's got going on for the skinny oh, tumblers in the uh, hell, uh, uh, ass kicker's hats. Oh, sorry, brother. D76 is anxious to get off the line. Seventy-seven up in the air, and we've already got an axle on the track. Wonder if that's off uh, the seventy-seven. Seventy-seven, I'm thinking. Yep. That's that great Cor big monster seven hundred fifteen. Corey Liebersbach. And as soon as we get the track cleared, officials, all the way around. And in three, two, one, great play. Here we go, we're back underway. <laughs> Woo! D76 sounds good tonight, huh? Yes, it does. Oh, he's putting a hurting on the XYZ. I don't know why they waved him off. He was 76 was coming in for a hit and he got waved off there for some reason. Yeah, I don't know for sure on that one. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Seven takes the pounding. Sometimes the guy makes a bunch of noise and doesn't do anything with it, but that's not the case here. No. The eight car looks like he's got a motor mount busted somewhere. with a great hit up along the high side. That's Chris Clements.
10 with another good shot. He's followed in by the 88 of Nick Winker. Ooh, nose to nose right there. Here we go. Good action down here on the bottom side. Wow. 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 I don't know what they said in the driver's meeting tonight, Tix, but apparently it worked. on one heck of a show for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it is. Red flag. Gonna have a hard time getting these guys stopped. I would say that's wild. <laughs> they came out slinging, holy smokes. That's with a slick track. Yeah. Oh, they're digging down, finding the bottom fast. Yes, they are. Oh, man. Yeah. They broke 77 off. He was called out. All right, as soon as we get the track cleared. Thumbs up in three, two, one. Green flag, green flag. Oh, the 10 goes. He rolls it. The 10 car is on his lid. Holy smoke. Wow. First one oh. all weekend, my goodness. And it was vicious. It was very vicious. Holy cow, that's Chris Clements right out of Boston. Chris is out, he's got his, uh, all right. he's Big about round to take of his helmet off. EMS is checking on him. They're gonna have to wet that track. Well, they had two cars coming in, one one backwards, one forwards. They're both wide open. Yeah, I'm looking movement. Right, I'm looking under the vehicle. I don't know. There we go. He's okay. Now is that fuel leaking under there, Mike? Ah, uh, that's very clear. Very clear. I think Chris kind of hurt his shoulder here, folks, but he's at least up and out of the vehicle. There it gives, is. Gives the wave to the crowd. My goodness. Officials taking a look. Fire department's still there. Oh, sorry. You're all right, buddy. I just got, uh, I felt like a dog on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Noosed. <laughs> oh, I, I suddenly stopped.
See Danny Rodenschmidt running around giving all the drivers a bottle of water right there. Yep. You ever been on your lid? I have once. Yeah? Been on my side twice and on the lid once. Okay. Did you pucker? It was uh, puckered. Yeah, I bet so. Very much so. Oof. Did it feel like slow motion or was it? it? Absolutely. Mine yeah. was like slow motion and I was just hoping and wishing I'd stop. <laughs> I can imagine. Where where did that happen at? That happened over in Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, over in, uh, uh, oh, my God, uh, up in Amory. All right. And, you know, the thing of it is I got I to gotta give kudos to the gentleman. I can't remember who it was that rolled me over. I'd, but, uh, you know, he, he truly, when I was going over, he actually let off. And oh, good. it was just a little too late. So, yep. I mean, there was pure respect for, for what, you know, what he did. I think that's actually tranny fluid or okay, oil. Yep. Couldn't tell earlier. I'll tell you what, nine cars, they are not disappointing. Absolutely not. My goodness. Great show so far here in Mauston. They got to finish strong, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they're doing it. They are. Yeah. They have got that figured out. My right. goodness. They have got that figured out. You know, once again, you guys, there's uh, there's plenty of stuff going on all over in Track Shot World. Right. Please take a look at it. Go on to TrackShot, TrackShotLive.com. Take a look at everything and see what it all is and see where we're going to be next and enjoy it. Yep. Snag up some apparel at TrackShotShop.com. XYZ is about ready to go down a tire, it looks like, Mike. Yeah. Oh, the 76 cuts into him hard. That guy doesn't get a mad dog. I don't know what's going on. XYZ going to have to make a hit here soon or he's going to be out of the running as well. Yeah, it looks like they're counting him. <laughs> 76 with a track shot all the way on the high side against the 62 of Travis Hancock. Sixty eight struggling down here. Fire. Yeah, well, oh, blew itself out. Red flag, red flag, hold your position, hold your position. Hold your position. 
That's on the David Stone all the way across the track from where we're at. That was a quick one, snuffed itself right out. Wow. <laughs> These fans, man, they're they're uh they're fanatics. They love their demolition derby. Officials. It is three, two, one, green flag, green flag. Right now we got four cars still moving. Eight car stick is still up, but tied up against the wall. T76 puts the 68 on the block and he breaks instantly. 68 car breaks off as soon as he gets up on the blocks. That's Ber Bernie Vanderhoof. Oh, the 76 doesn't. 76 don't know he's broke. Wow. Oh man, I sure hope you got sky high steering in that thing. Eight car got back off the wall. He made a hit too. Wow, those two cars, holy That was smokes. awesome. Mike, I usually ask you this during a live stream because I know you're a technician when you're watching these things. So what are you, what are you thinking right now? Oh, I'm thinking how those things folded just like that, and uh, they're they're pounding with the pulleys if they keep going at this thing. Yep. You know. Seventy six of Dan Rodenschmidt getting after the eight car of David Stone. Sixty eight made a made another hit. He fired up and got in there. That's Bernie Vanderhoof. Seventy six does fine. I'll give you a shot too. Looks like the D seventy six is going out in fourth place. They're trying to get him to break off. That's Danny Rodenschmidt out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Number eight's got locked up steering there. Yep. Seventy six says you're not going to hold me down here against the wall. I'm just going to power out of it. And the A car, look at this, Mike, he's going to get back into it. He did, he made a oh hit. My goodness. Never give up.
Number eight's working his way back over again. Yep. The old headers are banging back and forth. Seventy six continues to lay down the punishment. A car says that's fine, I'll get right back into you. The A car's the one that caught fire down there along the wall earlier, so yeah. he's just battling. Yeah, he's got another yeah, fire he does. There. He absolutely does. Nobody sees it yet. Now they should be able to see it. Well, I don't know the fire rule here. I, Second I, one and done or what? Yeah, I don't know that either. There it is. They're there calling it, is. it. Yep. That's going to do it, everybody. Eight. David Stone's going to be our runner-up in second place, and your champ is number 76, Dan Rodenschmidt. There it is, Dan. 76, Dan Rodenschmidt. And the D76 is going to get the mad dog. Heck yeah. Danny Rodenschmidt. The diesel is going to go to D76, Danny Rodenschmidt, out there laying haymakers. <laughs> Haymakers, John says, I love it. No doubt about that. Well, Michael, you've been with me two weekends in a row. Yeah, no looking doubt. For a break. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get John. Let's get the interview on John. Let's listen to that. I'll be right back for you, Dan. He's gonna go over to Danny and talk Danny. to Danny. You got his microphone. A little extra cash for you. That's from Ridgetop Diesel throwing in an extra hundred bucks, and uh, we're gonna go around. But I tell you what, great run out there tonight. You you were really laying it down. Love to see it. Uh, so I know there's a correlation. I've seen you guys talk to you. Is that dad or is that uh, uncle, brother? Uh, dad. Dad. Well, I tell you what, you guys build great and run great. We love to see you out here. Congratulations. I'm gonna go get a few words out of him then. Damn. I tell you what, they made you work for it here. They made you work for it, but uh, I tell you what, great run again, great build. Uh, anything you got to say about the field of drivers out here? You know, it was a good time. We knew we were a little outnumbered, but I'd rather have it that way. Well, I tell you what, you guys did not shy off that pedal at all. I'd love to see the action out there. We'd love to see that. Um, you guys bringing the show for the, for the fans out there. Who do you want to thank real quick here? I want to thank Danny again, my wife, and all the haters, because they're our biggest supporters. <laughs> well, I tell you what, love to see it. Thanks so much, Dan. We'll catch you around in the bits there. Appreciate everything. Everybody else, uh, thank you for coming out to the 2023 Juno County Fair. Don't forget, the Beer Gardens, we got live music running after this. We will see you there and trade some more stories with some of the drivers. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, John Baird right there doing the doing the on track, having fun with everything, and uh, you know giving credit to those guys. Danny Rodenschmidt getting the uh, the hundred dollar uh, Mad Dog handshake right there from Ridgetop Diesel. Uh, thanks a ton for that extra. You know, just uh, those extra little spiffs here and there. Yeah, just make the show that much better. Absolutely, sponsors mean so much to everybody in the Derby world. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you see the big banner across the way, the Derby Derby Addicts. 
Um, you know, you're seeing that stuff pop up a lot more all over the place. You know, they're sponsoring these shows all around the areas. And, you know, huge shout out to those guys. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, we can't thank all the sponsors enough. And we're talking about other things that are coming up in Track Shot Live World. You know, we're going to be at the Great Stoneboro Fair. Yes. And uh, that's coming up. Then we've got, uh, you cannot forget, San Filippo in Ooh, Morris, New York, you guys. Baby. Um, Josh Decker is doing totally awesome things to make sure that track shot live is there again so you guys can see one of the greatest shows in new york and that is san filippo no that's doubt about right it. i'm so excited to go back out there and stay at the flea bear inn yeah that, there it is there it is <laughs> you know so that's that's those fun things you know then after that we're heading right back over to the minnesota throwdown and then you cannot forget we have dead man towards that's the end right here boom, uh, boom. tj yes tj mccullough you guys Get on out there, take a look at it, and uh, make a destination derby. you got plenty of time to, to organize and uh, make a trip happen. Um, you know, there is no uh, Devil's Tower anywhere on the way over that no. way, but there's the Great Lakes, there's Canada, there's the uh, the Great Niagara Falls. There's all That's kinds right. of awesome stuff to make destination derby 101 uh, truly something amazing to talk about. Yeah, the season's winding down quick, unfortunately, and, uh, hey, we're down in – to less than two handfuls of shows here. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, you know, the other thing, too, is people are already hitting us up for next year. You know, we're locking in a lot of shows for next yeah. year already. So if you guys have got a place that you want to try to see us be or anything like that, get your promoter, get them out there, get them talking to us, and let's see what's going on because, um, you know, if we can make it happen, well, let's let's make it happen. You know, I mean, it takes a little bit of investment and, and uh, uh, willpower from that promoter to get us there, and, and uh, we'd love to show your Small Town USA Demolition Derby 101 right here on Trackshot Live. That's right. I've already got three penciled in for next year, Mike. Yeah, so. and, it's, and, they're, and everybody's talking. They want bigger, better things and everything like that. Um, you know, so a uh, huge shout out to everybody that's supporting and uh, making this all happen all across the country. Uh, we got tons of more great stuff going on. I mean, the, the season is not, it's getting close to being done, but we have got some killer entertainment to bring you guys yet. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to the end of our season. And uh, man, the shows, the last half are killers. Yo. <laughs> they are. They're, they are great shows. We have great this show, shows everywhere. This show was, this show yes. was off the hook. Yes. I mean, you know, Absolutely. I, I want you guys to look up Mawson, Wisconsin, and yep. just see. I mean, granted, it's by the Dells. Right. But, I mean, this is small town USA. But, well, this town's so big, you'll see it on the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to zoom in. Yeah, yep, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yep. So. Well, uh, hey, everybody, Track Shot Land, we so appreciate you following us. Uh, we love our fans, and, and we're, we're so thankful that you choose to pick us to watch your derbies. Yeah. So continue and, to do so. Yeah, and Jeremy Gross. Yes, <laughs> Jeremy. I got to say it one more time. It's, I uh, God, I'm an idiot. But, uh, hey, we love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and everything out there, you guys. And, uh, you know, like we say, make sure you grab your loved one and, uh, you know, just call your call your best derby friend across the country and uh, just let them know it's like how much uh, their friendship and everything means. And, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep the loved ones close. That's right. That's kind of like uh, Andrew Johannes. I practiced that name for weeks ahead of Jacob's show because I knew he was going to be there, and I knew he would not appreciate it if we said it wrong. So, hey, <laughs> I, I feel your pain. You yeah. know, sometimes you just got to work on those things. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, you guys out there in Track Shot World, you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. We're going to go hit the beer gardens. We're going to talk to these derby drivers. We're going to listen to some great music, and we are going to enjoy what Wisconsin has the best, and that is entertainment, fun, family and great times absolutely tsl from juno county wisconsin Boston. we are out